Nish is a bully. I don't care what y'all say. And I, um, I moved my space heater to the bathroom <laughs> so that I wouldn't lose power while I'm using it. So that's great. That's great. At least I have a heater on while I'm live. We love that. We love that. Whew. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? <clears throat> very much freezing yeah 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 the bathroom seems to be a different breaker it looks like so we'll just uh that'll have to do for now because <laughs> it is way too cold to have no heat on i have like my normal heat on and then i have my space heater so oh it has just been freezing lately freezing all right um so I did add I a redeem for the eye tracker, as you Happy can see, holidays, it's on the screen. Nish. You but stream we're gonna have so it much to so many of us, so thank you for all that oh, you do. Oh, sir. <laughs> Never mind, sir redeemed. <laughs> oh, domestic, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you for the one year. I appreciate you so much, domestic. Um, Eddie, thank you so much for the three months. Epster, thank you so much for the 26 months. And Red, thank you so much for the 30 months this is thank a bully. you oh my god I, go, I love you i freaking love you for reminding me to record holy oh my god i love you for that <laughs> oh, Heidi, thank you so much for the uh, for the gifted thank you thank you i appreciate it mariscos thank you so much for the three months in advance wow thank you thank you thank you i appreciate that so freaking much dude thank you thank you but yeah, so basically, um, I, I plan to add redeems and stuff um, for you guys with the eye tracker so that it's a bit, so that you guys have a bit more interaction with it. Um, Lee, thank you so much this for the This is a bully. Months. I don't thank care you, what y'all say. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But it won't be on all the time. It'll be a redeem for you guys to have um, so that you guys can activate it and deactivate it, all that stuff. So yeah. <clears throat> 
Hi, Amber. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Kim. It's nice to see you guys. Good morning. Good morning. You have to buy a Chucky cosmetic to get the Chucky banner. Cosmos, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm about ready to go. Hi, Amena. Good morning. Darlene, thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <clears throat> and I believe today is Katie's duo day, I believe. So hopefully Katie, um, could, Katie's here, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Denny. Good morning. I'm in a meeting. Oh, no. Duo day canceled, Katie. If you're not here on time, then it's over. It's over. Oh, well, well. Oh, well. Katie's leaving. We're missing out on the duo day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Katie, the Bush Katie. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Yes, un besito for for be, for Bella. <laughs> Loser. <Wow. clears throat> good morning, good morning. Hi, Liza. Saw your videos on YouTube. Learned so much. Thank you, thank you, Cosmos. Welcome in. Happy to have you. Good morning, good morning. But yeah, I basically am gonna have it so that you guys. Um, can also change the color of the eye tracker so like I can change it to pink or if you guys wanted to do red we could do red or we could do green yellow I can just change it to whatever you guys want um, so that'll be one of the redeems that we have sir since you since I don't have the colors um, ready just yet for a redeem would you like to pick a color for me Hearts of Queen, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> no, I've been I've been awake for a while. I have been awake for a while. Yeah, no, no, no worries, no worries, Katie. You're good. There's no rest. <laughs> Hi, Gooly. Good morning. Hi, my Saint. Hi, Santa Claus. Hi, Crown. Hi, Grizzly. Hi, Kat. Jay. Good morning. Good morning, Platonic. Thank you for the gifted yesterday. I made my day. Thank you. Thank you. You're so sweet. Hi, Mystery. <clears throat> Hi, Mystery's Isla. Mystery's a bully. I don't care what y'all say. B, Happy you shouldn't have any ass right Tyler now. You might have to so refresh. Much. Here, let me let them know. There's no ads right now, I don't think. Hi, Carlos. Good morning. Hi, Harley. Hi, Pepsi. Hi, Lexus. Hi, everybody. Hi, Leaky. I, I want to apologize for my voice. <laughs> my voice is just dead, chat. <laughs> it is so dead, so I do apologize for that. <clears throat> Are you sick? I hope you're... No, no, I'm not sick. Chat. It's just because I streamed for 12 hours on Saturday, so um, right now my my voice is just giving out. <laughs> I've just been streaming a lot, and it's a lot of talking, a lot of like straining your voice, you know. Katie, thank you this for the is five gifted. Thank say. you, thank you. I appreciate that. So yeah, my voice is just a little a little tired at the moment but um yeah it'll 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 be back <laughs> it'll be back it'll be back just give me the weekend and i'll feel better drink some teas yeah yeah i i am trying my best to kind of you know take it easy when i'm not streaming but it's just i'm not really giving it much rest given that i'm you know live not much later so <laughs> Hi, Mercy. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> I saw your Legion video this morning and I found it very informative. I appreciate the tips. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that you found it informative. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Hi, pretty. Wait, happy birthday, Madness. Happy birthday. The way I spawned to your stream as soon as I saw it. Aw, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Melody. Good morning. Hi. Hello, good morning, Mochi. I hope you're doing good today. It's nice to see you. Hi, McBusson. Good morning. Good morning. 
It's nice to see you. I hope you're doing well today. Oh, the window's on this side. Well, that's concerning. Okay, good. Just gonna say. Ah, some hubris, some hubris. Yeah, a spirit game first day of, a first match of the day is a little, uh, that's a bit sweaty if you ask me. I'm not really prepared for a spirit day first thing in the morning. <laughs> Oh, but it is what it is, I guess. Sennheiser, get yourself some Sennheiser headphones, girl. <laughs> and that's why Mish games with Sennheiser. Hashtag ad. Hashtag not really. Hashtag I'm dead. <laughs> All right, they at least got two gems up, bro. The spirit gameplay, first thing in the morning, bro. <laughs> yeah, the blue stuff, Alicia, is an eye tracker. I added it as a redeem from um, for my channel. Do you think Killer Pink plays a big role in your ability to loop a killer? Because I regularly play on 90 plus. No, 90 is pretty okay. Um. I mean, you just have to, the thing about playing on higher ping is you just have to adjust for your ping, right? So if you are playing on, um, like say I play on West Coast, on West Coast I usually get like 120 ping. When I play on West Coast, I just play a little safer, you know? I'm, I won't play it to where I'm like trying to get the stun like at the same distance that I normally do on 50 ping, which is what I normally play at. Um, I would definitely allow more distance between you and the killer. So just kind of adjust for your ping. The higher your ping is, the more distance you're going to need between you and the killer Love without, you, um... Hope you have a great Wednesday and Merry Christmas to everyone in chat. Aww, thank you, Ethernet. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you're going to need a higher distance in order to avoid getting hit, you know? The higher your ping is, so that's something to just keep in mind. Hi Jess, good morning. I know, salt, that's what I'm saying. A spirit first thing in the morning is a little... That's a bit sweaty, if you ask me. Let me lean back. Not her swinging at that. All right, all right. She's gonna leave me. She's gonna leave me. My ping is always in the 400s. Well, there's a couple things you can do to help your ping, right? Improve your internet speed so you can, you know, get better internet plan. Or you can also um, hardwire your connection. So playing with, uh, with a hardwired ethernet cable is going to be your best bet. So that you're actually getting as close to the speeds that you're advertised. Um, because say you pay for 200 download, right? If you're on Wi-Fi, you're not going to get 200 download. And that's just because that's how Wi-Fi is. But if you're hardwired, then, you know, you're going to get closer to that speed. And um, it's going to be more stable than if you're on Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Hi, SSG. Good morning. Good morning. How do you know what your ping is? Press escape in your game to get your match details. This number right here. See how I have 50 ping? They have 60 ping. That's your ping right there. <clears throat> Hi, Mystic. Good morning. Good morning. You get 600 download. I don't exactly remember what my um, download and upload is. I think I get 20 upload. I'm not sure about my download. I forgot what plan I got. Yes, there is a streamer in the lobby. Please be kind to streamers chat. I don't play on anonymous. Um, Cause I want you guys to be able to check out who's in my lobbies and stuff, but just be kind is all I ask. The blue thing is an eye tracker. Can we add an eye tracker command? We have it as a redeem. Hi, Potato. Good morning. I am having a good day. Thank you. Good morning, Angel. Happy Wednesday. Good morning. Good morning. Happy to have you here today, Angel. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you, Jen. Good morning, Lacey. Good morning. She kicking a generator over there. Uh, 
Hi, Dennis. Good morning. I am having a good day. Thank you. We're a little... My voice is strained. I can feel it on my throat. It's just, like, so strained. I feel like I'm gonna lose my voice any, any minute now. <laughs> but it's alright. It's alright. No, today I'm not doing open lobbies, so... <clears throat> Good morning, SSG. I hope you're doing good today. Jen's always on it, honestly. Hi, JA. Good morning. Good morning. Exactly. It's Katie Open Lobby. <laughs> it's just for Katie, no one else. Alright, we reassured so we don't have to go for the save right away. It's fine. I really remembered and started laughing. Oh, it's okay, my undead. It's okay. It's just like something that definitely upset me a ton you know like the event happening and stuff um i know i, I think it's just like a me thing though i'd be like making jokes about it because i'm like coping kind of but it definitely was something that like it was a tough experience for me that like really ruined my um i don't know months honestly it ruined months for me it kind of sucked do you like jokes about it? I don't... I My problem is I make jokes about things sometimes in a way of coping, kind of, with, like, negative situations. You know what I mean? Um, so I understand why people make jokes about it. But it is something that is also upset. Do you know what I mean? Like, for me, just because... Girl, that, like, ruined... If you... To this day, we still, we still uh, are dealing with some some issues from that whole situation. So, yeah, yeah, exactly, Jen, exactly. What's the context? Um, about me hitting the deer last year. You know, girl, we still getting bills in the mail every month for the damn car, bro. The damn van that we destroyed. The van that we were in was a was a rental, so and the insurance company didn't want to pay for everything, so it's like a whole thing. So yeah, it's just like a whole a whole stress thing, you know how it is. Hi Mel, good morning, good morning. When a coworker hit a deer on the job a few years ago, my team lead made an official looking company form saying he hit Bambi and hit it in the guy's office. Damn. <laughs> hey, please. This is a bully. I don't no, care hitting deers saying. is not fun. And then the car accident bills are also not fun. But you know, you know how things are, child. It's just sometimes i i cope with making jokes you know so i understand where the jokes are coming from in return um panda thank you so much for the eight months thank you thank you and down potato thank you so much for the prime thank you thank you thank you no i am terrified to this day domestic i am terrified of driving anywhere near um you know the dark or anything like that because i am just I'm terrified of that happening again. The deer are very common around here. I, like, once it hits a certain time, I'm like, uh, I don't want to be on the road. Like, there's probably going to be deer or whatever. Like, it's it's very stressful. Do you have any other P100s? I don't have any P100s. Um, yeah, I don't have any P100s. <clears throat> Same for me. It happened, like, five years ago. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely, like... Well, it's just, you know, what's also scary about it is the fact that it happened in a big van. Um, it happened in a big van and like to see the, the insane amount of damage that a deer did in that van, I, it kind of scares me because I, now I'm in a car, you know, and I like a part of me is really thankful that it happened in the van because I feel like if it would have happened in the car, then it would have definitely been way worse you know what i mean um we might have even gotten hurt and stuff thankfully we were in that van but it, it is something that i think about for sure all the time still even a year later you know it's okay i know 
I know it's not harmful under at all, and that's why I don't um, like. I understand where the jokes are coming from, you know, for sure. Is the redeem for a game? I was gonna do two games for uh, the redeems, Jen, <clears throat> for the eye tracker, because I think I have it on a, a 180 minute cooldown or something like that. So I might even do two or three games, something like that. Hi, Mish. Girl, I want to know who you guys are. I don't even know how to how to talk to you. Do I say profile? <laughs> how are you liking the eye tracker? I like it a lot, honestly. Have a good day, Mariscos. Thank you so much for popping in. What perks do you use right now? I'm running Bond, Adrenaline, um, Reassurance, and Object of Obsession. That's us Hispanics, we joke about everything. Yeah, I, it's just like a coping thing, honestly. I, I That's why I'm saying, like, I, I definitely get it. Because if I'm making jokes about it, then it definitely opens up the floor for jokes about it, obviously. Um, so I, I get where the jokes are coming from, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Do you know what I can do for four sons in one trial? Um loop i guess um i mean i guess you could try to run something like head on but head on is gonna be it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to do once they find out that you have it if they know you're like running towards a locker it's not gonna be hard to counter I was so sad you weren't live for my daily shit. <laughs> well, I'm live! I'm live! Hello. My favorite item is also a flashlight cosmos, but I collect them, so I never bring them into matches. I'm a collector, a hoarder, if you will. Leanne, thank you for the five months again, and Panda, thank you again as well for the eight. I appreciate it. Who's the killer? It's looking awfully quiet on that hood. No one's in chase. Hmm. Hi, Al. Good morning. Oh. Yeah, there it is. I, I was waiting for it. <laughs> I was waiting for it, Katie. I know Katie just like. Ah! <laughs> My favorite ice cream is chocolate ice cream. I think it finally clicked with looping for me. I managed to loop for a gen yesterday consistently. Even made a killer whip on the T-walls. Yo, that's awesome. That's so awesome. I'm telling you, it just like clicks sometimes. It just takes a little bit. But once you get the, the hang of it, it's just going to click. And one day you're going to be like, whoa, I like all of a sudden know how to loop, you know? Someone on my friends list and DVD is Mary. Oh my god. J. Louie, please. What is that name? I can't. That's so funny. That's so freaking funny, dude. Oh, okay. Bye, Mr. Ghostface. Bye. Yes, Jesse! That's awesome. Same with spins, honestly. Once you get the timing for spins down, you'll be more consistent with them. I think the motion of the spin is the easiest part to get down. Like, actually knowing how to spin. And then the timing is definitely, like, the more precise, um, more difficult part to learn. But once you get that, then you, you should be good. Will bid re build request be back soon? I don't think so, Y man. I think it's just like way too busy now for me to do those. It's just like really hard for me to remember. Um, Cause a lot of the redeems happen while I'm in game. And then whenever, you know, I'm in lobby and can actually change my build, I just forget about it cause I'm so focused on chat, you know? I did change the color of the eye tracker. Hi Toxic, good morning, good morning. 
It's nice to see you. Hello, hello. Um, I always say time your spin about at the time that the killer's red stain starts to touch your survivor. Somewhere around that time. He is just completely ignoring me. Ah! Aww, dude. I appreciate that, Susie. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. It means a lot. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for the kind words. It really means a lot. Ooh, girl. I was gonna go for Katie. I didn't think that he was gonna leave the the Meg. This now is a bully. Hands... I don't care which. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say now our lives are up to a Meg. Hi, Ocean, Giovanni. Thank you so much for gifting us up to Susie. Thank you, thank you. Aw, that's so freaking sweet. Thank you, thank you, Giovanni. Enjoy your sub. Enjoy the ad reviewing. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you, thank you. Are you okay? You sound a bit sick. I'm losing my voice, chat. I apologize. This is a bully. I don't care what y'all say. Good morning. I apologize. Good morning, Seven. Good morning. I want to give you guys, like, all my my um, energy. And I'm trying, but my voice is literally, like, giving out on me, chat. It, it is so strained. I feel it every time I'm speaking. So, I apologize. Hope you don't lose your voice completely. I know, I'm trying really hard to, you know, not strain it even more. It's just I did a 12-hour stream on Saturday just about on top of my normal stream shot. So, she is a little irritated at the moment. with only face reactions what was that dreaming what do you mean mm -mm -mm. nice this is my first hook i thought i had been hooked already i'm doing good princeton thank you hi nico yeah yeah thank you i appreciate that i am greedy do you get upset or disappointed if we don't sub no 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 in fact i've told you guys do not ever feel like like you need to sub. And that's not even just to me. That's to any streamer. Um, there's a lot of ways to support a streamer without subbing. Watching the stream. Interacting with their content. Um, even right now, I'm doing a sponsorship. And, you know, all we're asking is for you guys to do some surveys. That's a free way to support. You know what I mean? Um, there's plenty of, of free ways to support a stream. You don't have to subscribe to it. To, to be considered supporting the stream, you know? Um, you guys hanging out with me here is huge. Don't ever let anyone make you feel less than for not being able to subscribe to their stream, okay? And don't ever feel uncomfortable to talk ever in my stream. Um, I talk to everybody, whether you have a badge or not, you know? I don't want you guys to think otherwise. Yeah, no, exactly, Faku. If a streamer ever gets mad at you for not being able to sub, then that's probably not really a streamer that's worth your support, right? At least that's how I view things. I, it's, I feel it's very entitled, especially right now. Um, we're all going through financial struggles, girl. Like everything's super super expensive right now like you cannot expect people to be able to sub to you absolutely not oh good tara i'm glad you like it things are so expensive the last thing we expect is for you to sub yeah exactly no and uh, and like another thing you know it's like you don't really think about it but they do start to add up you know um one sub two subs three subs you know what i mean like they start to add up, so absolutely. Girl, Mystic, you better stop it right now. <laughs> Get out of here. Exactly, Trance, exactly. 
I know, I don't like exhaustion perks either. Must be hard playing DVD while looking at two chats. You're a multitasking queen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is challenging, but um, I have a lot of fun with streaming, honestly. And I, I don't know that I would enjoy DVD quite as much if it wasn't for the fact that I do stream, you know? Being able to stream, play the game, and like talk to you guys is really fun. Of course I love you guys for being here. Hi, Lay, hi, Christine. Good morning, good morning. Did you guys see that one video of that one streamer who got mad at her viewers for not subbing? I was literally shocked when I watched it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is like... <laughs> honestly, that has like become a meme even. Where, um... Are you talking about the one where she's like... If you have $5 to buy a coffee, you have $5 to sub or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been going around for so long. No, no, a hundred percent saying it adds up, and not even just that. I mean, like I said before, like we're living in an era of like everything has gone up an insane amount. When we, a lot of us, are still recovering from the financial struggles that we went through in 2020, when a lot of people lost their jobs, lost their, you know what I mean, like. Absolutely, that is insane to expect people to be able to sub every month. Mm -mm. Tea with honey and low dose ibuprofen to bring swelling down will help your voice. Thank you, Squid. Thank you, thank you. I really enjoy your presence. I've watched you on TikTok for so a while and usually tune in on there, but trying to get more into Twitch. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Yossi. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Girl, I don't have anything pink either, besides my wig. <laughs> it's wild to me that people have such an entitled behavior. Yeah, no, 100%. It's just like, I think it's just, it comes from a place of like never, ever having to have struggled at any point. Because that, that's the only way that even makes remotely sense to me. Because if this you've ever struggled, then you saying. know how valuable that extra $5 a month is. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't have a flashy. I have snowballs. No. We're sad. We're sad, Katie. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Alfred, thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you. Seven, thank you for the ten months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Mordas. Good morning. <laughs> I'm gonna die not knowing how Kit why Kit Kat's mad at me. Um. Wait, what happened? You know, I think because you beat them to gifting us up. I think that's what I saw. Hi, Sapita. I'm doing good. How are Morning, you? Mitch. Thank you. Morning, thank you. Hi, Frogsta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Ocean. That means a lot. Daddy Dumpers, thank you for the 100 biddies. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, exactly, Alexia. And Dreaming, thank you for the biddies. Favorite breakfast food? Um, What is my favorite? I like potatoes a lot, like hash browns or um, any sort of potato thing, honestly. Viv, thank you so much for the three months in advance. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh my god, 2,000 of altruism. You didn't help your teammates, girl. Oh god, I'm the worst. I am literally the worst teammate ever. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> in 2021, my taxes were so wrong. I didn't do anything wrong, so I paid 7,000 more. So in 2024, I'll get 10,000, which is good for me. I said this because of the streams that sub to me. Oh, what? A streamer told you to sub to them? Like, what? Girl, I can't even imagine calling somebody out in a stream and being like, Hey, you should sub to me. 
Ah, I can't even imagine doing that. Please. This is a bully. I don't care what y'all say. Aw, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. I started running objects and now my trios expect me to tell them if they have lethal every match. Oh my god, Maddie, that's funny. My PC will ship out in seven days. Let's go, Lexus. That's awesome. That's so awesome. That's one of my friends, fictional. Hi, little. Good morning. Yeah, exactly, Gremlin, for sure. Girl, you guys make the day go by fast, Christine, honestly. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, Long. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit yikes. Sorry. That's crazy. How much does the subscription cost? On Twitch, the subscription's about $5. Um, I guess it's different depending on your um, currency, but here in the States it's about $5 a month um, and the streamer gets a portion of that, Twitch gets the rest, but it's a, it's pretty much the main way that most um, streamers make their income, so we really, really, really appreciate the, the subs, but I, again, there's a lot of ways to um, support a creator without subbing, you know? watching my TikToks, you guys actually like interacting with them so that it gets boosted more in the algorithm, things like that, you know, go a really, really long way. I don't know about that, Brandon. I don't know about the Michelins. <laughs> oh, I am in a, I do, I do play on the East Coast. Any tips for new players? I just finished downloading the game, yes. The first thing I would learn as a new player is your camera control. Being able to look behind you while in chase, just like that, and like running ahead is really, really important. So if you can learn the camera control so that you can keep an eye on the killer at all times, that would be a really, really valuable skill. Oh wow, Faku, that's interesting. Hi Darkus, good morning, good morning. Do you make any money off of TikTok or is it just pennies? So I actually used to make pennies off of TikTok. <laughs> Truly pennies, okay? With the creator fund on TikTok, I used to make pennies. Um, and I'm, I'm talking like it took me a good year and a half to make about $100. And that's posting every day just about for a year and a half. And finally, finally got to a point where I made $100, okay? But, um, this year, I was invited into the creativity, um, program for TikTok, where I had to drop the creator fund in order to join, and, um, now I get paid the more views my videos make, and as long as they're over a minute long, um, I can make money off of my TikTok. So now, I do make some money off my TikToks. Um, it depending on how many views I get that month, I, you know, I might make anywhere between $400 a month and like, I think the most that I made in a month off of TikTok was like $1,000 a month on TikTok. So that's why I'm telling you guys, like, even if you don't, um, subscribe or anything like that, any interaction to my videos and things like that, anything that pushes my videos out into the algorithm is really really big because that's another source of income for me and for a streamer your income is very inconsistent you know one month you'll make a certain amount of money the next month you're gonna make less you this know is a bully. and you just never really saying. know how much you're I'll gonna make so any sort of stable income or any additional income that you can make is really big um so yeah that to answer your question hopefully that answers it Sam. Hi, Glow. Good morning. Good morning. Girl, with these damn rocks, I be getting stuck. It's crazy. Is there a trick to securing pallet suns? Yes, looping. Forcing them to commit the best to, miss. to looping Your with you. Your content always brightens up my day. Aw, okay. Girl, what is this dead zone? Hello? What? What? Hold on. What the freak is this dead zone? I don't understand. 
Whoa, I ran to a dead zone. That was wild. Okay, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. And Loco, thank you for the four months. Jordan, thank you for the two months. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Mike. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Dwayne. Mario, thank you for this the gifts. This is a bully. Hi, Callie. Good morning. Tarnished for these awesome seven months. <laughs> Bagel, thank you for the seven months. Thank you, thank you. Aw, have a good sleep, Denny. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate that. I'm not much of a holiday person, to be honest, Ocean. I am not doing open lobbies today. No, so sacrifice, when you're phasing a spirit, you don't see the survivors anymore. So um, it's not necessarily good practice to not run when when there's a spirit on you because it really just depends on the situation she can hear your footsteps so you hear that little sound that nia is making with her feet she can hear that so that's why a lot of people say don't run because obviously look she doesn't really make noise right but she can also see the environment moving so see how i walk through the grass and the grass moves she can see that which means she'll be able to track where you are so always avoid the grass, maybe walk if you're not injured. If you're injured, she's going to still be able to track where you are. Um, you can maybe crouch when you're injured, and that makes your grunts of pain a little bit quieter. But if you're near a pallet or a window, you might be better off playing the window or pallet instead. It's more of being a holiday person for other people. I can't wait to give my gifts. Yeah, true. Yeah, same, honestly. <clears throat> yeah no absolutely playing as the killer will definitely give you a better idea of their power and i always tell chat too about spirit is her phasing is directional so if you move your camera around um you'll be able to get a sense of where she is when she's phasing if you don't move your camera around you're not going to be able to tell where she's coming from Yeah, unfortunately, that's not going to work on every spirit, Maddie. Once you get more experienced um, spirits, they're definitely not going to fall for the double back. Same with Nurse. So. Just played Oni for the first time yesterday, and now I have bad respect for Oni main. He's so, yes, he is very... I, I feel like people think he's really easy to play, but he is not. I said we commit. Ah! Nice. Okay. I'm just gonna get some distance, honestly. And we'll go this way. Hi, Kemma. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, it is an eye tracker stuff. Like right now, um, when I was looking behind, I could tell where she was coming from because of her sound while she's phasing. Again, you have to, you have to move your camera around to be able to tell. If you don't move your camera, you're not going to be able to tell where she's coming from. Oh shoot, that pallet's gone. That's okay, she's short phased. Wow, we have way more pallets on this side. That's interesting. Go this way. Yeah, she's gonna leave us. All right. Good morning. Hi, Mochi. It's nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning. I know, Kaui. Not a fan of spirit. Is it more hard to play nurse or spirit? Um, they're both not super difficult to play. It's just a matter of, like, there's, like, individual skills that you have to learn about that specific killer to play well at them, but... 
it doesn't take a ton of time, I guess, to get really good with them. Do you have a tutorial on how wide to take balls to get a fastball? I don't, gamer. I don't actually have one. Um, although that's, that is something that people have been bringing up a lot. Is like the fast vault versus the medium vault and all that. So that could be something that I write down for later. Right now I'm working on a video on blocking the hook. Um, because we've talked about that before. Like, where to stand in order to properly block the hook. Alright. Big sun, we move. Got a blast, got a blast. Hi! Coming through. Nurse flinches when she... F Wait, what? Her skill ceiling is low for how strong she is? Yeah, I agree. Nurse flinches when she phases? How is that easy? Trust me, she's just muscle memory. It, it really isn't very hard to play as her. It's just muscle memory. Once you get the muscle memory down, it's not really... There's not much... I mean, there's like a little bit of knowledge as far as like... Um, you know what things you can or can't go through on certain maps and things like that But it, it's just muscle memory for nurse. I don't play nurse very much at all Like I could probably probably double digits hours play time on nurse and I can do pretty well with her Even if I go like forever without playing her, you know what I mean? It's not it, it really is just muscle memory Belly, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Hi, this Josiah. Is a Good morning. I don't care what Good morning. Saying. Can't believe it's been three months, girly. Elizabeth. Yeah, we'll talk about the giveaway after this match. Ah, Olive. Just be patient with yourself. Don't compare yourself to you know people like me that have been playing for a really long time. You know. Yeah, exactly, John. That's what I'm saying. Like you might have one rough start. Um, where you're just like warming up with nurse, but once you get that warm up and you start to understand the the muscle memory of each blink, then you're fine. She recovered kind of fast there. not phasing which is interesting get the door <laughs> Katie you're running away from the door <laughs> that's not Katie actually that's a random Jake why aren't you on the door I'm dying please get the door oh no oh shit she's right there Fuck. no <laughs> I started panicking because he was running away from the door Please. Jazzy, thank you for the prime. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, please. Not the bot leaving instantly. Hello? Don't do it. Oh, no. He just left. This is bad, Chad. This is so bad. Oh, he's dead, girl. Well, now I think we're all dead. Oh my god, thank you, Katie. I got you with a body block. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I hope they get up, dude. I hope they get it. I, I don't know what to do there. <laughs> I don't know what to do there, girl. You're right. I was playing killer and this Kate was just eating through pallets and it cost them the game. See, I'm telling you. People are always surprised when that happens, but that's how it is. When people just waste pallets like that. Oh, do you really, John? That makes you so happy. 
I hope you guys like all the new emotes. But that makes me happy that you like the new cry. Oh no. Oh, I wish I would have been able to stay. I don't really know where else I could have gone. Yeah, it's an eye tracker, which we're gonna go ahead and turn off the eye tracker um, since we played a couple matches with it. I have a redeem for it now, so you guys can redeem if you want it. No, that's so sad. That's so sad. <laughs> Good try, good try. I feel like when you're in the end game and when you're in end game and you're at the exit gate and like other people are in chase, I think the best thing to do always is to just like stand by the gate. So that if the injured person does come for the gate, then you, um, you're prepared to open it for them and take a hit. You know what I mean? Like stand close to it that way you can open and then go and body block for the injured person at least that's what i usually try to do yeah yeah babe well that's the thing too though i don't like i'm not necessarily against 99 doors because i think it's fine because especially if somebody is in chase then um the killer can very easily zone you and keep you you know kind of against the wall like corner to where you can just die to in-game collapse so i don't necessarily think there's an issue with 99 in the gate um but i do think that if you do have the 99 gate there then you need to be standing at the gate and waiting for the person that's in distress to come um once you see them once you have line of sight on them open the gate go body block for them if you think it's going to be possible to do so can you explain why sometimes the killers grabs them and sometimes they just get a hit while people are doing something? Yes, um, combat. So you can only get a grab on a, well, it, it's weird, right? Um, on a window vault, you can only get a grab on an injured survivor. So even if you get really, really, really close to a um, non-injured survivor, you're not gonna be able to get a grab off of them. Um, number two. You can get a grab on a injured survivor, but it has to be a medium vault. So if you want to avoid getting grabbed as an injured survivor, you have to be able to get a fast vault. Um, and that's only on windows. On pallets, no matter how you vault it, you can get grabbed. Um, so that's something that you got to keep in mind. Um, however, you can get grabbed out of a locker if you're like say you're in the animation of going in and out of a locker and you're fully healed you can get grabbed from there um you can no longer get grabbed from unhooks they did get rid of that at some point um so yeah it's, it's a little it's a little weird no they never changed it it's just something that's that's been around for a long time and because it's so you know it's like situational where you can or can't get grabbed um then yeah Oh, now you're getting blocked from everyone. Why did they disable the knight? I'm not sure, actually. I I don't know. There was some sort of exploit. I don't know if anyone knows what the exploit was. Um, yeah, you can get grabbed from cleansing totems. You can get grabbed from sabbowing. You can get grabbed from chest. You can get grabbed from pretty much anything that you interact with. So please keep that in mind. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, pretty much anything that's in an animation, just, like, be, you know, be careful. Uh, that's weird. Anyways. Hi, Ivan. Good morning. What about grabs for the gate? Yep, anything that you interact with, pretty much. Okay, chat. Someone wanted me to explain the giveaway, so let me go ahead and explain that for you guys. Um, this is the last week to enter, so if you guys haven't had the opportunity to enter, enter! We are doing a giveaway for a PC! How many of us are non-PC gamers, just out of curiosity? Um, we are giving away a PC to one lucky winner from chat, which is very exciting for me. I am super excited to be able to give one away. Um, so... If you want to enter for the PC, all you have to do is come over to my Twitch chat. In my Twitch chat, there's a link. It'll take you to a window that looks like this. Wow, we have a lot of non-PC gamers. That's awesome. Um, there's a link that go looks like this. 
when you go there, it'll tell you what the giveaway prize um, is, you know, what we're going to give away. Right now, we're at 5,900 surveys. If we get to 10,000 surveys, we'll be able to give away the top prize, which is a $5,000 value. Um, right now, we're at 5,000 surveys, which means we'll be able to give away the $2,500 prize. So we have already guaranteed the $2,500 prize, which is amazing. Um, it's going to be a 4070 gaming PC with an Asus 165 Hertz monitor. All you have to do is click here to enter, type in your email, type in your Twitch handle, hit submit, and you're good to go for the giveaway. Next portion is going to take you to this window. This is where you sign up for your surveys. All you have to do is click here to register. Um, this is where you make your account to do surveys. Once you do your account, it'll take you to a little window that gives you like categories that you can pick from. And there's all sorts of brands there. There's like clothing brands that you're familiar with. There's like, um, shoot, there's dating apps on there. There's, there's drinks. There's everything that you can imagine, honestly, when it comes to um, brands. So all you have to do is fill out some surveys, as many surveys as you possibly can. Um, we would really appreciate it. How many ever, it doesn't matter how many you make, but you can do a total of 25 a day for a maximum of 75 for the campaign. The giveaway ends on Christmas Day. So we have until Christmas Day to get up to 10,000 surveys. We're almost at 6,000 surveys and we have a little under a week and we've been doing this for about a week and some change. So I feel like we can do it um, if we just push through on those surveys. Yeah, we're almost at 6K, which is insane. I'm super, super excited. Now, every 25 surveys does contribute towards the Boys and Girls Club, which is really hey, exciting. Mitch, just wanted um, to say that recently I started streaming and today I finally got my Twitch affiliate. I've not been uh, super active in here, but just want to let you know you have been such an inspiration for me. Aw, Lola, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the five months. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. The Boys and Girls Club is, um, you know, 100X supports the Boys and Girls Club. And for every 25 surveys that you complete, that's a, a month worth of meals for a child in the Boys and Girls Club. So uh, that's that's like, honestly, maybe I want to say each survey is about a minute, two minutes or so. That's at most an hour of your time to be able to, um, you know, provide food for a child every day after school um for a whole month which is insane so if you guys have the opportunity to spend a little bit of time um doing some surveys we would really really appreciate it we are really close to hitting six thousand surveys i would really love to be able to give the top prize away if possible hi cheese good morning you did 10 or 11 that's awesome lifeline thank you thank you Yeah, any little bit that you guys can contribute, you know, if we all contribute a little bit of time to do um, maybe 10, 15 minutes of surveys or whatever, uh, every little bit helps, you know, um, all of those surveys start to add up. As you guys can see, we've already we've already done a ton of surveys. So I, I do have faith that we can get to the top prize if we work together. I'm sorry, Mitch, I'm not American. It's okay, Tofu. It's okay. I appreciate you guys trying. It means a lot. Hi, G. Polly. Good morning. Good morning. I have a question. What are you seeing? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm drinking a Pepsi too, Jen Lee. Oh, what am I drinking? I'm drinking a Pepsi. A Pepsi. Mm -hmm. Hi, Khaleesi. Good morning. Good morning. Juzzy, thank you so much for the prime. Snow Pupper, thank you as well. And Belly, Belly, <laughs> Belly, thank you so much for the two months as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I apologize for missing those while I was in game chat. Sometimes if uh, we're in a bit of a hectic, hectic game, um, I might miss alerts, but I always see them and I, uh, I will always acknowledge them if you guys just give me a little bit of time. Mm -mm -mm -mm. She be holding, she be holding. Oh, she holding. Ah! Woo! Okay, she holding, holding. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, she can hold her axe out for forever. The longer she winds it up, the more speed she gets from it. Okay. But obviously there is a, like a max. It's not like she get, it gets faster and faster or anything. Goodness. I'm just trying to maintain walls between us. Good morning, Jay Z. Good morning. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Aw, dude, that was so sad. That was so sad, dude. Haha, <laughs> loser. <laughs> Wish I could do the surveys, but I'm from Canada. That's okay. I appreciate you trying. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, if you guys have an opportunity to do the surveys and you're in the US, it really means a lot. Um, I know your time is valuable. And, and I know that you guys are busy and stuff, but if you guys do manage to, to do them, um, we really, really, really appreciate it. I'm excited to make somebody's Christmas this year with a PC. That's something that I've always wanted to do. So, yeah, super excited, super excited. Good morning, Bart Girl. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so much. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Andy. Yeah, we're almost at 6K, and there it is, actually, 6,000. Let's go, dude. Let's go. We have, what, five more days? One, two, three, four, five. Five more days. If we can get 4,000 surveys in five days, which we did 5,000 in, like, was it two or three days or something? I can't remember. It was, like, four days or something. I feel like we can do it. Good morning, cool. Good morning. Hi, random. It's nice to see you. Good morning. Hi, Abe. You went against a machine gun huntress? What what do people consider a machine gun huntress now? Because I, I feel like they got rid of machine gun huntress. Nothing really feels super... Um, What's the word? Nothing really feels super machine gunny on Huntress anymore. Double wind up? Uh, it's, not, it's not that bad. I feel like it. Well, I guess because I got used to like. We had like true machine gun Huntress back in the day, and that was very terrifying. Um, but I feel like the wind up nowadays isn't too bad. Mm mm mm. Yeah, unfortunately not, Greg. But thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Yeah, exactly that, Jen. Um, Jen said double wind-up now is what a single wind-up used to be. So I think that's why... I'm not like super um, worried about the wind-up add-ons because I guess I got used to like the super wind-up back then where you could stack it with like Tinker. Tinker back then used to help with your wind-up instead of what it does now. They changed Tinker. Hey Mish, I just wanted to say thank you. My boy <laughs> broke up with me last week and then you make me smile with your streams while I'm more like Aww, fairy. Aw, Fairy, I'm sending you a big hug. Can we give a, a Mishy love to Fairy chat? Breakups are hard, dude. I'm sending you a big hug. Yo, thank you guys for the follows, by the way. Thank you, thank you. 
Yeah, breakups are so hard. I know all of us have experienced a breakup at some point. Um, or at least, you know, you can have some sort of heartbreak even without having a breakup. It's tough, but things get better. And then eventually you look back on on this moment and you're like, girl, why was I so worried about his Chrissy ass? <laughs> That's me. That's me. I'd be like, girl, why was I so worried about his Chrissy ass? Girl, we could do so much better. <laughs> Hi, peace. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Omar. Yeah, he crusty, exactly. Nah, sometimes people just aren't meant to be together in that way, you know? And that's okay. The good thing is that even bad relationships teach you something about what you're looking for, right? Mm -mm -mm. Mr. Chucky, you're kind of scaring me. I'm a little scared. Oh, there he is. <gasps> Look at him go. He's so cute. He's so cute. I love him. Hi, Riley. Hi, Blix. We did get a party starter. <laughs> I want to get a, a save now. <laughs> nice! I got you, I got you. Run, bestie, I got you with a body block. Yeah, literally that, Jen. Real and true. Drop it! Nice. I got you with a body block. Nice, nice, very nice. He's so cute, he's so cute, John. I love him. I don't even care if I go down, girl. He's too cute. Okay, okay, double backing. I see you. Okay, he's in his power now. And he has bamboozle, interesting. So I honestly can't see him sometimes. So sometimes I'm just relying on sound. Oh, I couldn't spin because that rock was in the way. That's what you get when you play with dolls. You're mine, shit for brains. What? Not shit for brains? You probably don't wash your ass, Chucky. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he really called me shit for brains. That's messed up. That's messed up. No, don't be sorry, Greg. That is not an expectation at all. Aw, thank you, Mia. I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing my videos. That means a lot. Thank you, thank you. You can see his footsteps, but they're a bit delayed from where he's actually at. So... It can be really hard to react in time to his footsteps. Oh my god, Prost, please. <laughs> please. Run, girl. She t he's coming. He is on his way, and he is not playing around. Ooh! Oh, I saw that speed on him. I know. I love his voice lines, though, baby. I feel like his voice lines are so good. I initially thought that I was going to like Tiffany better, but I feel like they just didn't nail Tiffany the way they nailed Chucky. They really got Chucky well. His voice lines are perfect. He just, like, uh, I, I don't know. He's just so perfect to me as Chucky. I love him. I love him. Aw, hi, perp. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Boomin. I prefer a little Tiffany. I love her aesthetic and I love how she looks. I just wish she had more voice lines similar to Chucky. Oh yeah, his stitched up outfit is like a 10 out of 10 for sure. For me? Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm eternally grateful. Hi, Alexander. Good morning. Me too. That's another thing, love. I would have loved to see her ghost instead of uh, Chucky's. 
But it's alright. It's alright. Why don't you bring items into the match? Because I like to loot. Kind of like that firecracker that I looted. It got me a save. Um, I just like the surprise of, you know, looting the item instead. <laughs> Okay, he is coming for me. It was a little... Hmm. Can't tell exactly where he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna go this way then. What did you have for breakfast? I had a potato, like... I don't really know what you call it. Almost like a casserole or something. It has like potatoes and ham and and all these things. It was delicious. Okay, the double backing. Okay, interesting. He vaulted now, and he's in his hidey hole. Let's go use our adrenaline and get good distance. Ramal, thank you so much for the, the thousand bitties. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Twitch, come through, come through, Twitch. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, we're gonna hide right here so that hopefully he doesn't expect a flashy save. Maybe if he doesn't see me nearby, he's more likely to pick up instantly as opposed to, oh, he's gonna fall, yep. <laughs> All right, let's see how he does here. Oh, no, 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 don't do that! I can't save you if you go in a locker! Oh, no! That's so sad, that's so sad. You can't flash light save out of lockers anymore, chat, so that kind of ruined my plan. <laughs> They changed that? Yep, they changed that. They killers now have um, locker grab immunity, which means that you they you cannot blind them with a flashlight um, to get a save. Now, if you have a flashbang, it's different because flashbangs go off instantly. So you can still get a flashbang save. Um, you just can't get a flashlight save. Good morning, Raven. Good morning. You can also slow vault. Yes, you can get a grab save, which is different than a locker save. Um, a grab save where you just like slow vault in and out of the locker and get grabbed instead of getting pulled out of the locker, if that makes sense. So you, there's little workarounds to it, but the way that she did it, I can't get a save there. I'm at the stage on DVD where I just don't want to play. Maybe with some time I'll love it. Yeah, maybe Alejandro, maybe you just need a break, you know? I know, Jess. It's unfortunate. But they changed it. You can't get lock flashlight saves anymore? You can get flashlight saves. You just can't get locker flashlight saves. Like where you, the survivor is just in the locker and you get grabbed ammo, out of the locker. Bonus bits and she locks. killed herself. Yeah, 55 more bits. No. Vermont, thank you so much for the 1,100 bitties. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Nice hit, Chucky. Bye, my Chucky. <laughs> I love Chucky. Can flashbang sun killers from behind? Um, so not if the flashbang itself is behind, but you can come up from behind and drop a flashbang. And it'll still work if you're if the flashbang is like because you lose collision as you're dropping. So even if they're facing a wall, you can just like kind of clip through the killer and drop a flashbang and get the save. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a little tricky, I suppose. So. I think they changed the locker saves back because I thought the same thing, but I played a couple days ago and they did it to me when I grabbed someone out of the locker. I was so shocked. No, they didn't change it, Olive. Um, it works, like I said, it works on grabs and it also works on um, on uh, on flashbangs. 
Hi, Crash Report. Good morning. Good morning. How do you get not get burnt out? Because I love the game. I don't know. I never, never really have had an issue where I feel like, oh, I don't want to play DVDs in it anymore or anything like that. Um, not in a really long time. Hi, Crash Report. Good morning. Yeah, like if the pr survivor is slow vaulting in and out of the locker and you get a grab where you interrupt that animation, then that's different than pulling someone out of a locker. Thank you, Saint. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't like distortion. Um, I'm not at all a fan of distortion. I feel like if you're running distortion, it's not making you any better of a player. In fact, probably hindering you from getting better. Paul, thank you so much for the Prime. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Does Prime sub actually support you? Yes, absolutely. It's the same as a normal sub, just about. Uh, Hi, cats. Good morning. Good morning. When will you play Fortnite on stream? Next week, actually. The last week, because I've been talking to this guy you hang out with. Back then, he was just out of med school and starting an internship. I really liked him, but he was just way too busy and wasn't able to get much attention. So we agreed to be friends, and maybe if he's able to, to later, and we're both single, we try to get it. Aww. Aww. Too busy is, is like, such a shitty reason to end a... A relationship huh it sucks because I feel like it's just like hard to get closure when that happens why did I get rid of locker saves um just because people would abuse it and they just go in and out of a locker all the time and then there's not much counterplay on the killer side Maddie thank you for the prime thank you thank you I appreciate that thank you so much I had a dream yesterday that you were streaming live from a TV studio, like a talk show with guests and live audience. Damn. Okay, that's fancy, Abe. That's so fancy. Yeah, no, that's definitely probably what it was, Olive, because they haven't changed it. I'd like to try again, but I don't know because I've never done long distance. Do you have any advice? Well, I've never been in a long distance relationship. So um, me personally, I don't think I could do long distance. Um, long distance just feels, uh, I don't know, that's a bit intimidating for me, girl. I, I could definitely not do long distance. I've never done a long distance relationship, so that's definitely, I feel like it. you definitely have to be a certain type of person um, to handle long distance. I feel like for me personally, I just couldn't do it. Um, distortion is a, a survivor perk in the game. Why aren't you in a relationship? If you don't mind me asking who said I wasn't, <laughs> who said I wasn't girl. I just have never done long distance Long distance is hard, but later down the line, it's definitely worth it. Five years long distance. Really? You've been together for five years? Wow. Five years long distance. Tiger, if you don't mind me asking, um, like, it, are there any, like, plans to get um, closer together or anything like that? Because I, I think that, for me, is something that, like, would... I think that's something that kind of has always kept me away from trying to do any sort of long distance is kind of the fact that like I just don't know how long I could I could do that distance you know what I mean hi Kay good morning good morning <laughs> Grizzly I can't with you three years whoa that's crazy that's so crazy Good morning, Funko. Good morning. Good morning, Rex. We're gonna move in together hopefully soon when we hit 19. Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys have been together for a little while now then. I can see if you're younger, definitely not being at that stage of moving in. I'm old, so I'm like assuming everyone's like my age. <laughs> I'm assuming everyone's like 27. No, yeah, same ocean. I agree with that. Hi, my sucks. Good morning. I mean, well, that's the thing too, right? It's like people make things work and they find ways to... Whoa! 
Whoa, hold on. I was not ready for that. Hold on. What? What is she? I. The, the, what? She's like cooking hard. She's cooking hard, and I don't even know how to react to this. <laughs> I like. I didn't even think that she could hit me where I was earlier, but apparently, she can. Yeah, object was going off because she has um. I think she has nowhere to hide possibly, and that, that might be why because she kicked the gen. But it felt like it was long, so maybe it's something else. Aura add-on? Oh, you know what? She has the add-on where when it's fully winded up, she can see auras. So that's an add-on, right? Or did I just make that up? Maybe I made that up, but I swore that was an add-on. No, now I'm starting to think I made that up. Did I make that up? Any Huntress memes? <laughs> I feel like I made that up. Yeah, I think I made that up. <laughs> Please. She has to. What is that? Nowhere to hide? That has to be nowhere to hide, right? That was such a long time. It was insane. Oh! Oh, I forgot. She had lethal. Chat, it's lethal with nowhere to hide. That's why it was so long. And then it probably procked into object. She could see your aura because of object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But object was going off when it was on cooldown. So it's the lethal plus the nowhere to hide plus the object. So that's why she had aura for so damn long. Is made for this a good perk? I want to buy it. Um, Jess, it's not super good anymore. Honestly, not very good. Um, unless you're running a specific build to activate it. So if you're running like Dead Hard or Off the Record or something like that, where you can proc made for this, then it, sure, it's it might be worth it depending on your playstyle and stuff. Um, but if you're not, then probably not worth it. See, but I'm getting aura right now. What was that? Was that still nowhere to hide? Just... Hmm. Oh! Oh, no, no. That's my object. Never mind. <laughs> Girl, I'm trying to figure out your damn build. I'm like, oh, I figured it out. No, no. Oh. I'm all ears. Yeah, that's a good guess. I'm all ears is a good one. I'll try and pay attention next time. The add-on concoction, I mean, she could have that as well, but there's definitely something else going on because I wasn't, I hadn't been hit with a, with a hatchet yet. Object is a Lori perk. Lori. I didn't study either, Boomin, to be honest. Um, the top perk is the object of obsession. It shows me the aura of the killer anytime they see my aura. So that's why we were trying to figure out what perk she's running. We know she has lethal and we think she has nowhere to hide. I'm assuming she has I'm all ears. So let's figure it out. Right. Let's see. Let me get near a locker. Doesn't seem like darkness revealed unless it ended. I can't really see her anymore. Oh my god, Tofu, that's so funny. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. Aw, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Listen, uh, we love we love mean girls here. Yeah, this huntress is good. We can tell by the way she's been playing. She's very good, very, very good. She's very intimidating and very patient. I don't like I don't have the patience to play huntress like this, where she's just holding up her hatchet, holding, holding, holding. Like, I do not have that patience. 
The fact that she is so patient is honestly impressive. Okay, you coming in? All right, if you're gonna help out, then I'll go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's no pallet there. Oh, she moonwalking you. Oh, she fancy with her loops. Okay, Miss Huntress. Okay, Miss Huntress. We take Chase here now. We hug, we hug, we hug. Oh my god, this loop. This loop is crazy, bro. Look at her! She's so patient! She's so patient. Okay, she's reloading. Let's take her this way. Hello. Frog, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Forever, am I undead? You can do 25 max a day, but 75 for the whole campaign. I can't get that, I don't think. Yeah, she's kind of facing a wall there. All right. This add-on always makes me feel weird about using a flashlight. I know it really is just like a visual thing, but uh, it like makes me feel like I accidentally turned off my flashlight. Hey, you thought I was gonna fall. She's a good huntress. She's a very good huntress. Ooh, nice moonwalk. Very nice. I'm on a pallet, but I don't think, yeah, she's not gonna move over here. That's okay, that's okay. We have adrenaline, so we'll be healed when we come off hook. Oh, where she ends to saves us, that works too, I guess. <laughs> It's only, only very scary that I might die, but it's okay. Your heart was pitter-patter. <laughs> oh, please. Katie, are you ready to come, spirit? Shut up. Shut up, bro. Look at her with her nowhere to hide. Nice, nice. That adrenaline. That is true, my undead. I will ban forever. No, she turned the other way. All right. Let me grab a little snowflake. Oh, not me calling them snowflakes. <laughs> I meant to say snowballs, please. Not me calling it snowflakes. I think she's out of hatchets unless she reloaded. I think she is out of hatchets. Is she? <laughs> why is the door? Oh, why? What? 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 What's going on over there? There's a healing party. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, the girl left. The other girl left. You're kidding. You're actually kidding. Alright, let's get out of here. Hex 99 doors, dude. Why has that been an issue more than once today? That's wild. <laughs> That's insane. All right, yay, we did it, we did it. Oh, that's stressful, girl. <laughs> oh, I know, that was crazy. How long have you been playing? I've been playing since 2016, but I took a two and a half year break. All right, the ad is gonna play, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a little break. Yep, she did indeed have I'm all ears, nowhere to hide, and lethal, we were right, we were right. We just didn't guess the Shadowborn. 
I know, stressing me out for real. Like, actually stressing me out. Oh, no way, Gage. Well, GG's, GG's. That's awesome. Katie, I'm gonna leave the lobby real quick just so I can level my Chucky, okay? But I'll be back. Chat, be honest. How cute is my Chucky? Look at him. He's so cute. I got bloody Chucky, girl. He's got his little bloody face and everything. ¿Qué es lo que debería primero hacer? Quiero aprender a lupiar y cómo ayudar a mis compas. Um, primero me enfocaría en um, en mirar al asesino mientras que corres. Entonces, like, moviendo tu cámara para que puedas mirar detrás de ti um, y al mismo tiempo poder lupiar. Es lo primero que aprendería. Hi, Zelda King. Good morning. Good morning. Pero no sé cómo. Um, con tu, ¿Juegas en, en, en controller o en computadora? What's the benefit of 99 in the game? Is it just buying time? Yeah, it is buying time. So, um, end game collapse starts when you open the gate. And that kind of puts you on a timer. And if you're not out of the match by then, then you uh, just instantly die. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, Fook. Good mo oh, Brooke. Good morning, good morning. This is a bully. I don't care what y'all say. Aww, Happy I love you, Happy months, Miss Lily, and miss you so much, Puppy. Sad. I know. I miss you. I miss you, Puppy. Thank you for the 27. Thank you, thank you. How do you get Bloody Chucky? Um, you get it by prestiging. So, P1 through 3 on any character this is a bully. unlocks the perks. P3 through happy 6 three months, Mish. Love you. unlocks the cosmetics, which are the bloody cosmetics that you see. And then P6 through 9 unlocks the charms of the perks to that character. Telepathy, thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you. Juego en computadora y gracias a ti estoy aprendiendo el juego bastante. Oh, ok. Entonces, este, si, si miras al lado... Oh, espérame. Déjame te enseño. Um, ok. Si miras aquí como, como en esta área de mi pantalla, donde tengo esa cosa azul, um, ahí tengo mi, mi teclado. Entonces puedes usar eso como para mirar qué es lo que estoy haciendo cuando estoy lupeando. You make me smile. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So de control y me resulta difícil hacer los 360. Debo subir la sensibilidad. La tengo 70. Ah, oh, depende. Depende qué sientes tú. Si, si te sientes como muy despacio a 70, tal vez lo puedes poner a 100. Um, a mí en, control, en controller me gusta como 75 y en teclado me gusta como al 100%. The little sweater is the cutest, isn't it? It's super, super cute. <laughs> We have some, some Spanish friends asking us questions on TikTok, so just answering their questions. Sí, de nada, de nada. Hi, Wormy. Good morning. Good morning. I'm finally starting to feel warm, chat. I had my my heater on 76, and I had my space heater at 76. And it's finally starting to warm up in here. <laughs> I was struggling. Sí, sí, juego de killer a veces. A veces. You do know what the nada means. Look at you, bilingual Kit Kat. Hi, Vivi. Good morning. Good morning. Alfred dice un saludo, un saludo a mis amigos de TikTok. Aw. Thank you, Alfred. Understanding little bits of Spanish because some of our words are derived from Spanish. Yeah, yeah. I understand, like, that's the thing is, um, you know, certain words you kind of understand in other languages just because they're so similar. Like Italian and Spanish even, sometimes I'll read some Italian and I can pick up what it what it's saying just because of context. 
What language do you speak? Spanish is my first language. And then I speak English as well. So nowadays, I probably feel more comfortable with English just because um, it's became my dominant language over the years. But Spanish was my first language. Yeah, Portuguese as well. Yeah, very similar. <laughs> it's okay, love. Don't worry about it. They're being really sweet. So don't worry. Meanwhile, it's 98 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. Wow, is it really? Oh, girl, and I'm over here freezing. So cold over here. My nephew's five, and I was talking to my sister about how he's not going to be fluent in Spanish with us, and he goes, I do know Spanish. Hola. Oh, my God, Carlos. Well, that's the thing, right? Like, my sister has babies, um, and they're, you know, toddler ages and stuff. And, um, yeah, it's just like we speak so much English now in our day-to-day -day that they're definitely not – it's not like when we were little. When we were little, we spoke Spanish at home. And that was pretty much it, you know? Um, so, yeah. I do listen to some Spanish, um, Bessie Love, occasionally. I thought English was your first language when I first joined, as you speak as Morgan. Thank you. Thank you, Vibers. I grew up here in the States, so um, eventually it has become a dominant language just because of how much we, we speak it here, you know? Oh, of course, Abe, of course. How old am I? I am 27. Chat, are you proud? I didn't ask chat how old I was this time. Are you proud, chat? Are you proud? How do you speak Spanish on command without messing up? I can speak it with my family, but in public I mess up. Girl, I still bully. sometimes I forget say. certain words, you know? It's, it's. Especially with Dead by Daylight, like, people have told me, like, why don't you do a Dead by Daylight Spanish stream? And I'm like, I, girl, I don't know Dead by Daylight specific terms, you know? I have no idea what um, people call certain things in Spanish uh, in this game because a lot of words are game specific, you know? Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't know what to call perks, you know? Tell me why I'm checking out this old guy on my lane and he tells me if I'm ready for Christmas and then proceeds to say if I was a good boy. And if I was ready for him. Wow, Papi, what? Not that. <laughs> Papi. Bro was about to be like, you want to sit on my lap? Tell me what you want for Christmas. <laughs> Oh my god. No, I feel the same way, Jez, honestly. Oh, good. Yeah, no, I... Well, and then that's the thing too, right? It's like, even if you're not 100% comfortable with speaking Spanish, you practicing it is a big deal. Um, and I always tell people, like, don't ever make fun of people for having accents or for not being able to speak a language fluently because it is challenging. Very challenging. Unless you're practicing it every day, it's really hard to... Um, you know, to, to keep the language and to, to be able to speak it fluently, you know? ¿De dónde eres? Um, yo crecí aquí en Norte Carolina, pero mis papás son de Chihuahua. De Chihuahua, México. Hi, Spade. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, yes. My, I remember being little and translating for my parents at the doctor's office as well. Well, back then, too, like, we didn't have, like, telehealth and stuff where you can just, like, you know, call up a translator on the tablet or whatever it is that they have at the office nowadays. Um, so it was very rare to have offices where they actually had someone that was Spanish speaking. So I'd often be the one that was translating for my parents at a young age. So... No, actually, Dill, I like it. It looks good. I think I'm used to that color as well. It's so crazy because I was so fluent in Spanish up until seventh grade when I stopped using it as much. And you can see the quality of my Spanish is not the same as a kid because I don't use it as often. No, absolutely. Absolutely. And, well, that's, like, the thing, too, you know, is when you, when you think about... Um, language and and speaking a new language and whatnot like if you're not using it in your everyday 
you start to forget it and you start to lose it. You know, you start to forget, oh shoot, I haven't said this word in a while. How do you say that again? You know, like it's hard. It's hard to retain that knowledge. Hi, McBussies. Good morning. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know where she is, but you look scared, so I'm scared. <laughs> if you're scared, I'm scared, girl. All right, I'll heal you. Oh, there she is. Okay, good to know. How to moonwalk? Um, it's just the motion of A D A D A D if you're on keyboard and mouse. Um, if you can maintain a pattern where you're like pushing your buttons at the same time, it takes a little bit of practice. I don't do them super often, but it's just that motion of A D A D A D A D, just like this. If you can do that on a set pattern where you're like, you know, kind of um, doing it at the same pace, then you should be good. Oh my god, I hate this killer so much. I hate this killer! Alright, well, reassure. Oh my god, dude. She has drones freaking everywhere. Might as well take that now, because later on, if I'm in chase and I get scanned again, I'm gonna get hurt, so I might as well do it now. Is moonwalking the same as killer? No, 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 no. For killer, it's different. Now, on survivor, I don't recommend moonwalking in a sense of like, it doesn't help you in any way. You know what I mean? But on killer, it can help you. Um, it hides your red stain. So it's actually really good to learn how to moonwalk on killer. On certain tiles, especially where you can easily mind game them. Absolutely. Oh my God, this killer sucks. Oh my god, bro. I can't get you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And she still scanned my ass. I hate it here. Get the save! Get the save! I don't get it. When you pass through a drone, do you automatically get broken? Do you guys want me to explain how Skull Merchant works? I think it'd be easier. Let me turn on my eye tracker so I can explain it to you guys. Okay. So... If you look at my eye tracker right now, you see the the little like, um, let's look at Jane. Like she has a little triangle on the right side of her circle. You see it on, on both Jane and Carlos. They have one little triangle, right? And the other ones are empty. It's like a little gap in the circle. So whenever you get scanned, you get another triangle. See how he got one at the bottom of his circle now? Um, that means that he's been scanned twice. So. The next time that he gets scanned, he's going to get injured or he's going to get into mending. Right now, he just got scanned. That put him into mending. On the third scan, you get put into mending. And the way that you can avoid getting scanned is if you go through a drone and it's currently scanning. Here, I'll show you. Wait a second. Where's a drone? I gotta find one. Am I in am I in chase? No, I'm not in chase. Hold on, hold on. Okay, right here. See this drone? How it's scanning? I can walk through as long as that line isn't on me, I'm not gonna get scanned. See how I didn't get scanned at all? But the second I move and I get touched by the scanner while I'm moving, I get a little mark on my circle. Does that make sense? And then the third time, the third time that I get scanned, I'll become injured. And if I'm already injured, I just become, I get put into mending. So in order to avoid getting scanned while it's rotating like that, you just have to stand still when it starts to scan. Ew, gross, 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 gross. I'm right here. <laughs> now keep in mind, anytime she has a tracker on somebody, you can tell because of that. You see those circles on my name? That means I have a tracker. Once those circles go away, my tracker is going to go away. But every time I go into a zone with a tracker, it kind of recharges it. 
um, as you can see there. Hi, Ramon. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shoot. I was a little preemptive with that ball. That's okay. What killer is that? It's Skull Merchant. Is there anything to do if she puts a... No. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not much you can do when she puts up a drone and chase. That's the, that's the frustrating thing, you know? She doesn't really have much counterplay to her. Hi, Fiona. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to avoid getting hit just so that we can get adrenaline like now. Perfect. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. Yeah, Skull Merchant is really boring. Why don't I have Eye Tracker on all the time? Um, just because I added it as a redeem instead of like a permanent feature of the stream. Unless you guys want it permanently. I don't know. Chat, can we do like a... Mods, can we do like a poll? Do we want permanent Eye Tracker? Or do we want it as a redeem? What would you prefer? <sighs> of course she has no ad, bro. All right. Yes, it injures you or it um, puts you into a deep wound now. What is an eye tracker? Here, I'll show you. I'll turn it on. See that little blob on the screen? It's showing you where I'm looking. So it tracks my, my eye activity. So you can see I'm looking at the HUD. I'm looking at my perks. So it's good for when I'm explaining stuff because I can be like, like, look here, look there, you know, and I can tell you where to look and you guys can kind of see where I'm looking as well. Yeah, it comes in handy a lot for explaining stuff, I feel. I'll be honest, I didn't realize that wasn't her Noed. She really has been dying with Noed. <laughs> That's tough. That is very tough, girl. Y'all can leave. Y'all can leave. Yeah. Pull is so close. What's a redeem? A redeem is where you guys would use your channel points. Um, I'll show you. So if you look at my screen here, um, a redeem would be where you go down here where the balloon thing is and you click here and it's to turn on the eye tracker. Right now I have it at 10K. You would click that. See how it's not back until an hour and 15 from now? Um, I have it on a cooldown. Someone redeemed it earlier. And then you would click redeem. And um, I would turn it on whenever someone redeems it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, if it's that split, then I'll definitely, I think I'll definitely make it a redeem. And I'll only use it for like educational purposes, you know? For whenever. Um, for whenever I'm trying to explain something specific. All right. Ah, damn, it scanned you. That sucks. But yeah, if you see Katie's little triangle there, that means she's been scanned once. Um, so the next two times, if she gets scanned two more times, which sometimes they can stack drones very close together, you can get scanned twice, like almost instantly. Um, that can be very frustrating playing against her and, and, you know, she would be able to get it down that way. Would you keep it on for like an hour or the rest of the stream? No, I would keep it on for a couple games, like two or three games. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. I find the eye tracker distracting. It starts to bother my eyes after a bit. I get that. I get them. Yeah, I would I would only do it as a redeem. Kind of like we did today where, you know, we have it on for like two matches or so. Um, and it's just kind of a fun way for you guys to interact. The redeem is for two to three games. Yes. 
I could make it like one game and just make it so that you guys can redeem it more often, possibly. But um, I was thinking it'd be better to just do it for two or three games and do it that way instead. I think two matches is a good amount. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I think it's good. This is my first live with you? Well, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. What to this do when you get bully. three gen? Oh, girl. Y'all got to pressure multiple gens when you get three gen. It's tough in solo queue because people will be giving up, but you do have to pressure three gens to be able to succeed. Yeah, that is true, Ray. That is true. Hi, Tyler. Good morning. Good morning. See, I was thinking um, it could be a fun little redeem because then I can turn it on. You guys could also redeem the color. So you could say you want it in pink or you could say you want it in blue. You could say, hey, I want red, um, green. I really, I can change it to whatever color you guys want. Um, and I just thought it would be a fun way for you guys to interact with the stream and kind of, you know, have fun with it a little. Um, give me just a second. I'm getting a phone call. One second. Hello? I'm sick and tired of this damn Melvin using my phone number. <sighs> The amount of phone calls that I'm getting for a Mr. Melvin. Who the fuck is Melvin? And why are you using my number, bro? Bro, signing me up for all sorts of stuff. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of it, girl. Please. Let me turn off my space heater. I think we're good now. I have that same issue with someone named Chris using my phone number. Girl. Well, okay. When I first got this phone number, there was a Melvin, right? And Melvin was getting these calls all the time. And eventually they stopped happening because, um, you know, I had had my number for a while. But girl, it literally just started happening again this week. And I'm like, Melvin, what do you think that you got your phone back? I don't understand. That was years ago. This happened. I got this phone number in like... I want to say like 2018 or so and i'm telling you it happened for like a couple months you know i understood maybe somebody you know whatever used to have that number i get it girl tell me why it started happening again this week i don't understand same thing for you girl why are they doing that <laughs> it's so annoying yeah i did use the bartend i did Bugs, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Melvin's data was sold again. New companies call up and test if the number is still active. Really? Girl. My friend made a short animated film about the same thing, but the guy's name was Alvin and not Melvin. Oh, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Joseph, thank you for the four months. And Bugs, thank you so much for the brand new sub. Thank you, thank you. Leo, thank you for converting from a prime sub to a tier one. And Rock, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Walk Raiders. Welcome, welcome. I hope you guys had a good time with Rock. I'm sure you did. How was your stream, Rock? Rockerson. Rock. Rock, rock rock something I, damn i was gonna come up with something fancy but hi <laughs> good morning good morning hello so buff you want me to do the gen girl now you put me to work i'm gonna go do a chest just kidding there's a man here just kidding he left me all right Hi, Kay. You overslept. Well, good morning. Good morning. I hope you slept good. We love sleep. It's nice to see you. Walk a doodle? <laughs> Not rock a doodle. <laughs> oh, rock. I have a very important question. What do you call 
You know how when Nemi pulls out his tentacle, you're like, oh, he pulled out his tentacle, right? What do you call Weskers? What 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 is the word for Weskers? Because we had some people in stream saying they call it his little. Well, you know what? I'll wait and I'll wait and see. Okay, chat already ruined it. Uh, little worm. They call it his little worm, and I'm wondering what you call it. <laughs> Just curious, just curious. Nice teeny weeny. His Ouroboros, do you actually call it that though? You're like, oh, he pulled out his Ouroboros. I was saying that's too much to say. I can't be walking around going, oh, he pulled out his Ouroboros. I think Worm isn't too wrong because the Ouroboros look like maggots. They do look like maggots, yes. I mean, it's not wrong, per se, but wouldn't you look at me a little funny? I just say he's holding his M2, similar to Huntress. Ah, oh, I see. See, with Huntress, I just like, oh, she's winding up. Hmm, okay, okay, just wondering. I think we might have to call it a worm, chat. <laughs> oh no, what else to call it? How did he one shot? I was exposed. He had he had socked me earlier. That's so funny. M1 is just the button on mouse. It's mouse one and mouse two. We call it M1 or M2. M1 is a basic attack, and M2 is uh, typically the killer's power. So. When we say M2, we're referring to the killer using his power. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if you get the Oryx cells. Yeah, no worries, Dirk. So I know it's a little confusing for for people when we refer to it that way and you guys are on controller. I can tell you a secret. What's the secret? I'll trade you one secret for 10 points. Oh my god. Hi, Janet. It's nice to see you. I love you, Janet. I hope you're doing good today. Mm -mm -mm. He's nearby, so I don't know that I want to unhook in front of him. Might be better off working the gen. Yeah, especially if yeah, he has Joel. I'll go ahead and unhook, but... Alright. You got it! You got it! even here David move your ass David I'm trying to reveal him nice okay God that was like a whole thing huh Revealing him is so hard sometimes. Okay, he's kicking the gen. I'm gonna go back for it, I think. He's going for David, it looks like. What does revealing do? Revealing gets him out of his cloak, and he can only sock when he's in his cloak. So that avoids you getting exposed for at least a little while while his power's on cooldown. Oh, hi, Nova. I do read TikTok chat, Nora. I don't think she does. I do. You just got to give me a minute. I was in chase. <laughs> give me a second while I'm like, you know, trying not to die. <laughs> Good morning, Joe. Good morning. Hi, David. Hi, Freddy. Good morning. Good morning. It's okay. I just feel like people on, on TikTok all the time are like, Miss doesn't read the chat. And I'm like, well, damn. I was just looping for like two gens. Give me a break. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Good morning. Good morning. The reveal thing is so hard to navigate. Yeah, I always recommend centering Ghostface on your screen. The closer he is to your center, the easier it'll be to reveal him. 
Yeah, what's your secret? Be honest. You want to play together? Um, today I'm playing with my friend Katie. But I do occasionally um, do open lobbies, and I promised chat that we would do an open lobby soon because we hit 5,000 on our surveys. If we hit 10K, then I'm down to do another one as well. You don't want to know, suck secret? Oh, okay, good to know. <laughs> How do you reveal him? Does he have to be center screen? I feel like he's a bit hard. Yeah, um, Lola, another thing that makes it a little bit more challenging to reveal is if he's leaning, it's a little harder to reveal him. But usually you do want to center him on your screen. If he's not exactly on the center of your screen, then it's really hard for the reveal mechanic to work. Mm -mm -mm. No, the eye tracker is not on right now. Um, I did add it as a redeem, though, Freddy, on my Twitch. How many hooks can you reassure? You can reassure every single hook. So every new hook that the killer gets, you can reassure. Kate Denson! This is why we don't like Kate. <laughs> When you're not the obsession, Jess, you can still get value out of objects because objects, regardless of if you're the obsession or not, still shows you the aura of the killer anytime they see your aura. So say the killer has barbecue, right? Um, whenever he sees your aura with barbecue, you still get to see it. Telepathy, let's be for real. Kate's, Kate's are kind of struggling, okay? <laughs> No, BB. It is not worth it. I am running the same build as yesterday, yeah. I don't change my build a ton. Haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Josh. Hi, Matt. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Song. Yeah, I, it's, it's not worth it at all. Boilover is definitely not worth it. Um, no, the killer won't really know that they have object, that you have object, because there's really no time that you see them randomly, so they're not going to know that you're also seeing them with object. Um, I don't know that I'm getting chased anymore or any less, Lola. I don't know that I really, the only thing is, like, maybe if I... I, it depends. Like, if I'm going out of my way to get chased, I definitely do get chased more because they'll see my aura right next to them and then they'll decide to go for me. But when they're, like, see right now, I'm getting object, but he didn't see me at all because he was facing a different way. That happens a lot with objects. When they're across the map, they're chasing someone else, they're focused on something else. Half the time, you get to see their aura, but they don't really see your aura because they're not even facing in your direction. Does that make sense? Like, for them to see you when you're across the map, they would have to be facing your way at that exact moment. Like, ra watch right now. I'm going to get object right now. Oh, wait. He's cloaked. So he didn't even... We didn't get to see him, but he did see us, technically. But he was facing the other way. I can't believe I revealed him there, by the way. That was a long ways away. Yeah, exactly. I'm done. No, I, there's no situation where boilover is good. As long as you're altruistic, then then that's good. <laughs> oh. See how I'm trying to center him on my screen so that we can get the reveal? That's kind of what you want to do. Where is he? Oh, he's kicking, I see. Nice. <gasps> nice hair. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you, thank you. I guess we'll go ahead and finish this one. This one is like high priority, I guess. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. To me, it's good night. Oh, we'll have a good night. 
It's still, it's not necessarily morning for me, but I always say good morning just because I don't know what time it is for you guys. Ah, oh, dude, I wanted to finish it so bad. I forgot he has freaking Surge. See, this man is running Surge and like other slowdowns. And that's what I always talk about. Like having aura reading as a perk and pillar is, um, you know, it's, it's good, but it's not going to be anywhere near as good as running multiple slowdowns. Aw, Clara. Is today one of those busy days? Hi, Jada. Good morning. I do always have the same outfit on, too. I'm a creature of habit, chat. I just, I like to, to wear what I like to wear, and I like to run my perks that I like, and that's pretty much it. Aww. Oh my god, Saint, not that! <laughs> oh, please. Well, hopefully David gets hot. Um, chat, but yeah, I think a lot of people um, have asked about like certain perks and certain survivor stuff. Um, so I do want to show you guys, I did make a graphic for you guys. Because a lot of people ask me this question, like, Mish, what survivor should I get next? Things like that. Um, so I did make a graphic for you guys. It looks like this when you pull it up. Um, give me a second. Let me make it bigger for you guys. But yeah, this is the order that I recommend for leveling um, your survivors. And again, this is all just opinion based, based on just their perks, not because you want to play the survivor because you like you like her underwear or something not like not that okay so if you're going based on aesthetics then you know obviously it's gonna be different um but then i went through and i made sure to give you guys a ranking of their um perk and like what my opinion on it is green being a really good perk that you can use on any build basically yellow being a, a good perk you know but might be for a specific play style or something and orange being a perk that you pretty much need another perk to make it valuable and then red being a perk that i do not recommend getting so i did this for every survivor you can see here there's dwight there's meg there's claudette jake you know i pretty much have every perk listed with the color that corresponds to it so that can kind of give you an idea if you guys are interested in um you know is this perk good what does Mitch think about this perk you can refer to this, okay? Do you have a rank list for killer? I don't, but I've been getting a lot of questions about that. I think I'm going to try and make one. I've been a little busy with the tournament stuff, but I definitely think I'm going to try and make one because I've had a lot of people ask about that. So we might make one. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, Nas. Welcome in. Thank you guys for all the follows, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in, welcome in. Killer main? I don't have a killer main at the min at the moment. I play a little bit of everyone. Where do we see that? Um, exclamation mark survivors. And you can always come into my chat even when I'm offline to refer to that if you guys want to. But it's exclamation mark survivors in my Twitch chat. You have a warning on TikTok? Yeah, I know. It, it just happens. This is so nice. Yeah, of course. I made that for you guys because I know it's very intimidating when you're first starting out um, trying to figure out what you know what stuff to to run what to buy all that good stuff so there's that link for you guys McBessies thank you for the hundred biddies what if we kiss under the McBizzledo aww McBusses Mc, Mc, McBuss that's not gonna work McBussies girl I'm Mc, McStuffins Muck, 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 um, muck, my, uh, I, I, the only thing I can come up with is like Mary Muck, Muck, Muck Stuffins or Mary, I don't know, girl, it's, I just, it's not working. <laughs> I can't even say it. I'm like, Muck, 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 <laughs> I do almost sound like a chicken, please. I can't, I can't. Yeah, exactly, Macy. 
For how long have you been playing DVD? Um, I've been playing since 2016, but I did take a break for about uh, two and a half years, so. Yeah. Less evil popcorn with white chocolate and matcha. Ooh, girl, I do not like um, any sort of like chocolate or anything like that, really. I know, I'm really picky. I'm not really a super into sweets. No, it's not a warning to, to us, Freddy. It just happens on an 18 plus stream. It's okay, it's okay. It's just a warning for my viewers that this is an 18 plus stream. Why do you think Shadow Step is a bad perk? Um, Because I think it's a bad perk. <laughs> Um, I don't think it's worth running, honestly. I, I really just don't feel like it's worth it. Um, it's very easy on the killer side to just snuff it out. You waste a lot of time, a lot of time setting it up. Um, and I mean, I would say boons are, are fine. Um, but they're even better when you run multiple boons just because at least if you're wasting some time You're more likely to get value that way. You know what I mean? But a lot of times It has to be worth the time that you're spinning off gens and the perk Shadow step the benefits of it are not in my opinion worth what it is Like that time that you spend off gens. Does that make sense? Like, you probably would have just been better off sitting on a gem instead of sitting on the totem. No, Circle of Healing is a great perk for sure. Yeah, it's still good. But again, you it's like you have to weigh. I think what people don't realize is how important efficiency is on Survivor. If you're not being efficient with your time on Survivor and you're doing like a ton of other things, you know what I mean? then that can punish the whole team and one of my biggest pet peeves with people that run boons is the fact that they constantly reboon another area so something i see with shadow step a lot is where they'll boon the area that they're in right now and then they'll go to another area and boon that area now and they're just wasting time you know all day just like rebooting areas when they could have just done a whole gen for that time you know what i mean how do you feel about boil over hate the perk yeah true that is true say <laughs> but we'll make it is still a really good perk yeah it doesn't unlock self-healing anymore with uh with a boon of circle of healing but the healing speed is really good and it's a good team perk for sure. Oh, hi, Chucky. I didn't know you were on me. Hello, little Chucky. Do you have your sweater on? No, sweater. Where's your Christmas spirit? Where is your Christmas spirit, Chucky? Okay, fine, fine. I'll do the gen. Yeah, I mean, it really just depends on the boon, right? Because some boons are just... Like, Circle of Healing is still a really solid boon. It's just people tend to run... They tend to run perks that are kind of geared for themselves and not really perks that are for the team. So I find that that's why we don't see a lot of Circle of Healing anymore, which is really sad because it's still a good, solid perk. It's just... Because it doesn't unlock the self-heal action anymore, people don't care to run it anymore. No, I don't have any legacy. What do you think about Deja Vu? Great perk. Very good perk. Very good perk. Yeah, I'm not very good with boons either. Another issue with boons is the fact that a lot of people don't know totem spawns and they'll waste a lot of time looking for a boon instead of, like I said, just doing a gen. Uh, if you do run totem perks, 
I highly recommend not wasting any time yeah. looking for yeah. a specific um, totem just to get value out of your perk. Instead, just play the game normal. You're bound to run into a totem, and then you just place a totem there. Does that make sense? But that's just so much time wasted for the most part. And all for the killer to be able to snuff it in like a second. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Go this way. With the object, literally every time you see him, he can see you no matter what. Yep. Well, no, not no matter what. It's not every time that I see him, he can see me. It's every time that he sees me, I can see him. So say I'm running something like alert that shows me his aura. I'll get to see him, but he won't get to see me. I only get to see him anytime he sees me. Um, the only thing that makes it so that he sees me anytime I see him is if it's my object procking. Chucky, relax. I love facing Chucky. I feel like he's so balanced. I feel like he's so fun to face. Bye, Chucky. Bye. I love Bon. Me too. Me too. One of the absolute best perks, in my opinion, for Survivor. Yeah, it sounds the same, but kind of like Jen said, you know, you have perks like alert or, you know, where you get to see the killer's aura, um, but the killer doesn't get to see your aura. That doesn't get affected by objects. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> Poor Chucky, bro. He was so cute. Oh, and he brought a Mori. Now you're bringing a Mori, my Chucky. Poor Chucky. What's the eye perk? It's object of obsession. <laughs> Again, miss? Not that, Nova. <laughs> Do you play killer or survivor? I play mostly survivor, but I do play a lot of killer as well. There's the description for object if you guys are curious. And it is time for an ad break, so I'll go ahead and run that as well while we're in lobby. I know, poor Chucky Hannah. <laughs> oh. What's your adv advice for survivors who want to get better? Work on your camera control. Work on your camera control. Bond always works, but a smaller range. Empathy's the whole map, but only when injured. Yeah. Um. Personally, well, actually, objectively, Bond is better than um, Empathy. And I get a lot of people that are like, no, Empathy's better because it has way bigger range than Bond. But... Think about it this way. There's a lot of situations where empathy provides you no value, right? If the killer is a Bubba, a Myers, a any of the one shot down killers, which is a lot in this game, what value does empathy provide? None, right? Because if Billy's there, Oni, Myers, Ghostface, any of the one shot down killers, if any of them get it down, you're not going to get any information from empathy. Number two. There's a lot of one-shot perks in this game. There's Devour, there's Friends Till the End, there's, you know, there's all these things that are one-shot downs. Also, zero information for, for empathy, right? Number three, if the chase is across the map, what does it matter? <laughs> it is not going to affect you in any sort of way. Bond shows you in a range where it matters. So if you see that the person in chase is coming within range, then you can prepare, right? So um, that is a good thing. Empathy is good for, oh, they're injured. Let me go heal them, right? What happens when you're the one that's injured and you need a heal? Empathy is not going to be there for you, right? Empathy is really only going to be like, a, oh, let me go heal XYZ person. They're injured kind of thing, right? Um, but if you're the one that's injured, then empathy is not providing any sort of value. 
at that moment. Um, there's just too many situations where empathy doesn't go through. It doesn't provide the value that bond does. So, yeah, bond is a lot better. Empathy is only better in healing builds, IMO. Disagree, because bond's range is 36 meters. And if you're just running down the map, you'll be able to see everybody as you're running through. You don't have to have the max range from empathy to be able to know where to run. Just run through the middle of the map and you'll be able to see if anyone is within range of that. You know what I mean? I love using Bond as an info perk when my Swift is looping near me. I can watch their location so I can finish the gen or heal. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of, of benefits to Bond. Does object reveal your aura more than it would if you didn't use it? Yes, it does. Because if you're the obsession, which it makes you more often to be the obsession, um, then you get your aura revealed every 30 seconds. Yes, exactly, Nadine. So bond is greater than empathy? Yes. 100%. I love bond and looping builds. I hate sandbagging teammates. Yeah, um, bond is really good so that you know which areas to avoid and chase. Um, bond's also really good to help people that are in chase. If you see that you can intercept a chase for a body block, I do that a lot where I'll just like see somebody on bond looping and I'll see they're about to go down and I'll intercept, tank a hit, let them get to another tile. Um, another thing that you can do with it is in end game if you are being chased in end game and you've lost track of where the doors are you can follow the aura of your teammates to get you to an exit gate because typically they'll be standing near an exit gate um i just like there's so many situations that bond is really good for you don't really think about it until you start using it and you realize like damn i only knew this because of bond or you know what i mean that information is so valuable it's really 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 good What's the best end game build for Survivor? Um, the best end game build, I mean, if you're looking for end game, I would say like Adrenaline, No One Left Behind. Um, Hope is a good end game perk. Um, I mean, I, I would say those three are kind of staples for an end game build for Survivor. What is the giveaway surveys? So, yeah, so we're giving away a PC to my community. So on Christmas, we'll be able to give away a PC. If you guys want to enter for the giveaway, all you have to do is come over to my Twitch. There is a little link on my Twitch. Hold on, I'll show you. There's a link on my Twitch and you'll be able to enter there. Um, when you click on that link, you're gonna come to a window that looks a little something like this. Um, this is where it tells you the giveaway prize. The giveaway prize we're at right now is the 5,000 survey prize, which is a $2,500 value. It's a 4070 gaming PC with 165 hertz monitor. Um, it's a monitor just like mine. I have an Asus monitor, actually better than mine. I have a 144, you guys will have a 165. Um, and your PC will be a lot better than mine as well. But if we can get to 10,000 surveys by Christmas, we'll be able to give away the max prize, which is a $5,000 prize. It's a 4090 gaming PC with two 240 hertz monitors. All you have to do is click here to enter, type in your email, type in your Twitch handle, hit submit. Once you hit submit, you're gonna get taken to this page. If you're in the US, um, all you have to do is register here for your surveys, type um, you know, your, your zip code, your email, all that good stuff. Um, and then it'll take you to your surveys. 100X does support the Boys and Girls Club as well. So your surveys are also contributing towards the Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club provides foods, tutoring, um, activities for children uh, across the state. So it's really, really, really awesome. 25 surveys is the equivalent of a, a month's worth of meals for a child. Um, so if you guys can take some time out of your day and do some surveys, I would really, really appreciate it. We're at 6,100 surveys. I would love to be able to give away the max prize. Yeah, definitely make one for sure, little. I used to go to the Boys and Girls Club and it's literally so fun. Good, good. We've had a lot of people come in and tell us about how they they used to go to the Boys and Girls Club. So it's really awesome to see that you guys have a personal connection to the Boys and Girls Club. Like I said, it supports the, the Boys and Girls Club across the states. So um, definitely if you are able to spend a little bit of time. Um, each survey is one to two minutes. It does not take long at all. Um, and it would be very much appreciated. You cannot do surveys if you're outside of the US, but you can enter for the giveaway. Thank you, Viral. Thank you, thank you. 
Oh, thank you, Lifeline. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. That means a lot. Thank you guys for taking the time to do your survey. This is a bully. I don't care what. Mandra, thank you so much for the four months. I'm four months. So thank grateful you. to everyone I've met here. Love you all so much. Thank growing you, thank heart, you. Growing hard. We used to have gaming rooms with game cues. I miss it so much. Wow, that's really cool. See, like I, I've just, I've loved hearing um, so many of you guys have some sort of personal connection to the Boys and Girls Club, which I think is really, really great. Thank you, MC. Thank you, thank you. We can't participate if we're outside the US. You can participate in the giveaway, but you can't contribute to the surveys because the surveys are for US companies and such. So the surveys are US only, but the giveaway is for my whole community. Now, remember, even if you don't win, like we're making somebody's Christmas and we're helping to contribute to the Boys and Girls Club. So, um, you know, I really, really appreciate you guys taking the time. Hi, Yi. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> oh, really, Vi? Girl. I can't imagine sitting at the airport for that long. I feel like he's coming down, yeah. I'll try and take him away. Okay. I'll take a hit for you. Oh, zombies. Nice, good spin, Nemi. Very nice, very nice. Does he use his tentacle though? Respect. Woo! Hold on. Animation's broken. Can't be doing that, Nemi. Hey, he's left us now. How do you enter the giveaway with no survey? All you have to do is type in your email and your username. That's it. My favorite chase music. I like the classic, like Chopper chase music. And I like Myers. Finish survey. Thank you, Minnie. Thank you, thank you. No, MC, it's more so me just kind of waiting to see what he's gonna do. I kind of wait to see if he's gonna break instantly to decide if I wanna play the palette. Or I, um, I just find that if I stay at the palette, more often they break. Then if I just start running away from the pallet, a lot of times they'll just go around and leave the pallet up. Does that make sense? Hi Watts, good morning, good morning. Thank you, thank you for finishing a survey. I appreciate that, Minty. Thank you, thank you. Aw, thank you, Taco Boy. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Yeah, we're giving away a PC. This is Plague Map, yeah, Eric. Yeah, exactly that, Taco, though, for real. Like, if you can just take 25, 30 minutes to fill out your, you know, 25 surveys, that'll literally feed a child for a whole month, which is insane, you know? Doesn't take any sort of money on your end or anything besides your time. Um, and I think that's a really big deal, so. <laughs> MC, that's funny. How do we know if we did the survey right? As long as you just answer your questions, Watts, then you're good to go. I can show you guys an example of a survey if you guys want to. That is the giveaway link. Can we have a mod pin one, please, for us? A short message about the giveaway. Same name as TikTok. It's twitch.tv slash mish. Thank you, Dill. And nothing happens so far. The snowballs don't really do anything. Unfortunately. It would be cool if you could stun a zombie or anything. But it doesn't do anything. Mander, thank you again for the four months. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hi, Nissa. Good morning, good morning. Thank you guys. 
Thanks, mods. Thank you, thank you. My husband wants a multi-tool knife for Christmas, and I just had to work up the courage to go into a hunting store with guns and men who shoot things, and they didn't even have one. What? They didn't have one? Really? That's weird. What the heck? That's cute that you're, like, making an effort, though, to get what they want. Hi, Charlie. Good morning. Yeah, a Twitch handle is just your Twitch username. That's all it means. Hi, Hunter. Good morning. Jahir, thank you so much for the two months. Thank this you, is thank a bully. You. I don't care and what And Cersei, thank you so much for gifting us up to Natalia. Thank you. Enjoy your ad reviewing and your emotes. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no worries, no worries. I know the wording is a little confusing, especially if English is your second language. Absolutely. Hi, hi, good morning. Does it notify you when you do a survey? It automatically updates for all the surveys that you guys do. So you'll see that number update periodically. Um, and that's just updating automatically as long as you guys do your surveys and stuff. Go down here. That'd be interesting, Freddy. Does the snowball affect the killer? No, it doesn't do anything. It's just a visual. It's just for fun. It looks like... Here, I'll show you. It looks like this. Hit me with it? Aw, oh, come on! I wanted her to throw a snowball at me. I thought if I threw one at her, she'd throw one at me. I don't know. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate all the support. Thank you, thank you. Paddle, thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you. Aw, Paddle, I love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not in the U.S., so if I don't do surveys, will it affect my giveaway? Nope, Mishy's it will not. For now. I don't care what you're still say. entered. Love you, Miss Yana. Yes, it is U.S. only for the registration for surveys, not for the. This is a bully. Entry. I don't care what y'all say. I meant to ask, what do you do when running objects against a stealth killer? Um, you still get to see that they're looking at you with object because object will light up. So I just play, I'm just like very aware of my surroundings. I'm constantly moving my camera around, but that's just habit. I don't find myself playing any different than I normally do when I don't go against a self killer. You know what I mean? I play the same regardless of who I'm facing really. Hi, Atrocious. It's ready. Hi, welcome in, welcome in. Uh-oh. Okay, they committed. Nice! You didn't get down? That's awesome. You have to go study? Okay, sounds good. No, you can't do the surveys if you're not in the U.S. Unfortunately, the surveys are U.S. only. So I do appreciate you guys for attempting. Um, but if you're in the U.S. and able to do surveys, I would appreciate it if you guys took some time. Unfortunately, the companies that are, you know, involved are U.S. companies, so that's why it's U.S. only. Oh my god, thank you! Thank you, Evan! I appreciate that! Thank you so much! That means a lot! Yeah, he has dying light. Have a good day, Jess! Get some good sleep! I don't know if he tunneled him out as much as it just was random. I don't know. I'm just going to sit on Jens for a little while. We do have reassurance, so I can kind of run past and reassure the hook in a little bit without Katie going struggle. Um, but I think we need some Jen progress here. Oh, thank you, Eric. Thank you. Hi, Tiffany. How do you read both chats? Um, I have my TikTok and my Twitch chat and my YouTube chat all, like, on one monitor so that I can kind of glance over while I'm playing. A lot of times when I'm not looking at my screen, 
Um, I'm just using my peripheral vision to, to look at all three tabs. Wait, really, Katie? Aw, that's so nice. Sorry, Katie, I didn't realize that you were about to go struggle. No, sorry. I didn't realize. I was too busy to talking to chat. Let me heal you. Thank you for the rose. Thank you, thank you. All right, Katie. I'll go take Chase if you want to finish that gen that I was on. I have adrenaline. Do you think sloppy me is underrated? Um, no, <laughs> cause at the end of the day, it is still just chance, you know? Um, so it's still not really, I still wouldn't consider it a good perk. All right, I'm gonna just kind of see if I can take Jace here. Only because I'm the one that's not on death hook. Damn, I tried to avoid it. All right, I just needed to reassure there so that they wouldn't die and so that Katie could commit to the gen. But I'm going to stay close so that he wants to keep checking on us. All right, we'll go ahead and go. If I get hooked, it's not a big deal. We're not on death hook. So it's fine if we have to take a hook state. There's no pallets here, sadly. Ooh, that's a corner. That's a corner, that's a corner. Made me enter the giveaway again because I wanted to do more surveys. So you don't actually have to enter the giveaway again to do your surveys. Once you sign up, depending on if you signed up with your email or phone, you're gonna get a little message that says, um, you know, it says like, Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, shoot. Oh, hold on. There's a UPS guy outside. I'll be right back. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Haha, <laughs> loser. Bro, I fucking ran out there and I still didn't get there in time. Ugh, I'm fucking sick. Oh, that's so fucking annoying. 
Girl, that man left instantly. I ran, my ass ran. And his ass left, I'm sorry chat. I just like, I had a delivery for today and oh, it's a freaking Christmas delivery and I needed a signature, so. He left before I could get there. Breathing all hard? Yeah, because I had to run down the damn stairs and run back up. Uh, so annoying, bro. I know, Cersei's for real. I know. He ran so... He freaking left so fast, dude. That's so sad. I don't know what, um, you could try picking it up at a local UPS. I hate having to sign for my packages because I always feel like the delivery people knock and then sprint. Yeah, I literally ran so fast and I still couldn't get it. I don't know what to do. I wonder if they would let me pick it up at the store. Or if it's like too late or what. Mm. I know, that's what I'm saying, May. <laughs> it's annoying. Oh well, I just saw, uh, I'll have to mess with that later. Maybe I can do it after stream. Yeah, I'll check for the note. We'll see. That's so unfortunate. I hope they let me pick it up today. If they let me pick it up today, that'd be great. <laughs> Don't you have safe drop in the US? Um, I don't know what that is. If they left the door tag, it should tell you when it's available for pickup. Well, looking at the tracking information, it says that um, they would try again the next day. But it's like, bruh, I'm streaming at this hour every day. Um, so that's annoying. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't think so, Maddie. We don't have that here. If you sign into the UPS app or online, you can look up your tracking number, verify the delivery address, and switch delivery from signature to picking up from local store. You might have to pay a fee, but sometimes it's free. Really? Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. 100 plus is insane. <sighs> It's just so annoying, bro. It's so annoying. Well, no, that's the thing, Jen. I'm in a different building. <laughs> I'm in a different building, so my my sister saw him on the um, camera, and she messaged me because she's not home, and so like my ass had to freaking run out, you know, to the to the driveway and. Uh, by the time I got there, he's gone. I don't think I'm going to be able to just make it out there, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Ignore my gameplay. You're fine. You're fine. I really like your content. Thank you, somebody. I don't know how mailing works. If you didn't get to sign, then what? Um, Then basically, they'll just kind of take it to um and try again the next day. As, as far as that I could tell, anyway. That's what it seemed like. Ah, oh, it's just so annoying, bro. It's like a whole thing. At least you got some steps in. <laughs> True. Oh, that's so frustrating. I'm just so bummed out, dude. Because I was supposed to get this today, and I was counting on getting it today so that I could um, work on it. Ah. <sighs> It's so annoying. All right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Is that a stealth killer? No. 
It is. It is a stealth killer. Almost didn't recognize her for a second. It's a Sadako. Hi, Sadako. Respect. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Respect. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a ton. Big sun. Thank you. Wow, she's polite. She's polite. Thank you. Ew, not a chamoy pickle. Was it good, Cyber? <laughs> Hi, Susa. Good morning. I know, Hannah. It's frustrating. Very frustrating. Did I ever tell you about when I first started watching it? I would be like, respect, thank you. And I wasn't even stopping at the palette. Wait, really? <laughs> hey, shut up, Kev. That's so cute. I love that. Great. It's also... That's the thing though, it's not just about running or pausing at the pallet. Um, you have to sell that you're gonna drop the pallet because a lot of pillars don't respect. Like if you just continue to loop, then they, they're gonna see you continue to loop and they're not really gonna respect. You know what I mean? Like, it's not that they're respecting by default, it's more so that I'm making them think I'm gonna drop the pallet, you know? I can heal you. Ooh, for back pain, um, a heating pad. A heating pad helps a lot, B-Mot. She twisted her ankle, was laying in the street crying, and the person waiting for their package walked out. It's like, I noticed you've been sitting here for a while. Do you have my package? Oh my god, sacrifice! That's so rude, what? Oh my gosh. I don't know, lovely. That'd be really hard to do, I feel like. Who should be my new female survivor, man? Um, my personal favorites are Nancy and Mia. I feel like they feel the best. Um, but you know, there's... I feel like you can't go wrong with any of the girlies. They're all really fun to play as. As long as you don't become a Michaela man or a Kate man. Not too bad, not too bad. Damn, she didn't she didn't fall for my bait. And she waited on my spin, she just stood still. Ada's are really quiet, this is true. Good try. Hi Sprag, good morning, good morning. Ooh, she not liking me, girl. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. My voice is kind of dying. I streamed for a long time Saturday, and then I've been streaming like a week this week, and I think my voice is finally like, Miss, take a break, you know? But that's okay. We're here, and that's all that matters. I feel like it feels worse earlier in the morning. <clears throat> If you had to choose between object or bond, which would you choose? Oh, bond, 100%. Object is fun, but it's not at all like one of my favorites in that sense. Bond for sure. Hi, Origins. Good morning. I think a lot of people really focus on me running objects and they think like that's my perk. But bond is really my perk. Object is fun and stuff, but like... I'm fine taking off objects. It doesn't really bother me. But if I have the option to play with Bond, I'll always play with Bond. Hi, Foxes. I think people just see the objects a lot more because it's very, it's not as commonly used. You know what I mean? So I feel like it stands out to people more. The 
<laughs> ah, please. That's so funny. She waits on everything. Yeah, I love Yui too. I think Yui is like one of the best survivors as well. You're not wrong. Interesting that she thought I would be at the pallet. I honestly had no idea where she was. I was just going based off the terror radius. Okay. She could have teleported. All right. And I can go to the next tile. I'm gonna get fat shamed there, so I'm not gonna go through there. Okay, she left us. Hi, Carlos. Yeah, Yui's a cutie, this. I love Yui. Tell me why this Michaela let me die on hook while like I watch her hide. She's my main greater than greater than. Yeah, I do enjoy her, Leo, actually. I saw her with Bond the whole game while my other teammates were distracting the killer and both were injured. I can't with Michaela's. Girl, I'm telling you, it's tough out here. It is tough out here. Alright, hold on. Let me see if I can get a save on you. Remember, what is Sarako's timing for flashbang saves, Shaw? We learned this the other day when we had a duo day with Do. It's tricky. It's not the same as other killers. It's not on the survivor grunt. What's the timing? The neck glow. Yes, yes. We'll see if we're able to to be here for the pickup. Yeah, I don't think I, I'm just injured. I don't think. <gasps> no, I wasn't there in time. That's all right. <clears throat> The ring on the survivor's neck. Yes, exactly. You pass, you pass. Bonus 100 points for everybody in class. Oh, shoot. We do not want to die here. Okay, we'll reassure and leave her on hook while they get the pickup. Might be able to distract long enough. She picks up, yeah. Can't get that save either. All right, all right. I saw it, it's so quick. Yeah, you'll see it. It's a lot easier to tell when they don't have the little snowball glow around them. Um, But yeah, it's definitely there. Oh, 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 this is a good opportunity. Okay, chat, let's see if we can get a... Okay, pay attention to Felix's neck on the pickup animation, okay? If she comes back. She might have seen me. Nice, all right. <laughs> you might have not seen it there, honestly. It's kind of hard to see. All right, let's go this way. I reassured with a hook, which is great. I don't want to run her towards the hook, so I'm just going to distract her. Yeah, okay. She pushed me this way with the pallet, so I didn't want to take her that way and take her towards where they were unhooking. So that's why I ran into her there. I can tell she's really, um, she's really worried about getting spun. <laughs> She does not want to get spun at all, so she keeps waiting on spins and stuff, so that's why I did that. I couldn't see that one. That one was tough. Yeah, it is really tough. It is really tough. It's hard to spot sometimes. McLovin, you gotta get your tape, girl! <laughs> your tape! You're gonna die! Be careful, be careful. McLovin, I don't know if she has the add-on that condemns you when you heal. If she does, you're going to get condemned here. Let's see if she has it. 
Okay, she doesn't. Ooh, but now she's condemned again. <laughs> Only because she teleported. Oh no. Get your tape. Get your tape. Is it time for Mimi Sundead? Have a nice nap. All right, we definitely got to go get our own tape as well. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Hi, Christopher. Good morning. Games are good. It's nice to see you. Power Oni. Hello, hello. Where's the TV? So I'm looking for a TV, but I can't find one. Where is it? I think there was one over here. Yeah. Nice. All right. Now we just gotta find another TV. She does have the blindness add on as well. Wait, she found her? Oh no, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. Team, help McLovin. Ah, oh, she's dead. We're sad. We're sad. Yeah, the condemned is uh, tough to, to figure out. Okay, they left a, a message on the door. It says, what now? Blah, blah, blah. We'll try again on the next delivery day. Or click delivery options to manage your deliveries and redirect your package to an alternate location. And then it says, delivery requirements, a signature. Man. Aw, that's so annoying. I'm gonna have to go online and see if they can take it to the location. Give me a second, chop. Right. I know, Cersei's. It does say tomorrow, but I kind of needed it today. So, that's frustrating. I'll have to figure out if I can do something with that. Hopefully, I can just redirect it to um, the location. Okay, this time we fake. And then this time we take long side. We do have adrenaline, so we're not super, super worried. And we wait. Faked it again. We take long side again. We broke chase, which breaks bloodlust as well. And she's leaving. All right. Mm -mm. Hi, Potato. Good morning. Good morning. That's a Christmas gift, but it's something that I need to work on in order to have it ready by, um, you know, Christmas and stuff. So it's going to take me a while to set it all up. So I kind of need as much time as possible. And I'm worried that if they try and deliver it again tomorrow, um, I'm not going to make it out there again tomorrow, you know? So I think it'll probably be better for me to just go pick it up. Any bubbas yet? No! And I wish I did have bubbas. I haven't had any bubbas today. You're my favorite streamer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aw, no way, hell. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my Visa. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Power Oni Shack, I feel like, is one of the most fun tiles in the game once you get the hang of it. Um, and I feel like it was one of the first tiles that I, like, really started to get super confident at. So hopefully you can get to that point as well. Hi, Kaylin. Thank you, Taco Bell. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so it does look like she's camping. So because it's just me alive and nobody else, um, 
it's risky to save by myself so instead i'm gonna go ahead and reassure the hook go for the door and then come back um for the save that way if i manage to unhook her she can actually get out of here where is the door though i don't know if i have the door close by is it over here Hmm, I don't think I have a door nearby. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it. know where the door is chat if there was a door close to the hook then we could have maybe done something with it but there's just nothing there <clears throat> unfortunately i would rather at least try and get the um get the unhook on this the chance that she has something like off the record Thanks or something that can get her far away you know or maybe she could even have Unbreakable that might be able to help her out. At least it gives her some sort of chance. No, the camping mechanism does not work in in-game. It only works before the guns pop. Hi, Amira. Good morning. What tall did you say? Shock. Yeah, I will be going to Disney Sacrifice. So um, they did update us from the Twin Pipe Challenge and they told us that at the latest, it'll fly out in February. I mean, not it'll fly out. My my gift will get here in February. So I'll get all of that stuff around February-ish um, at the latest. So once I have all of that stuff, then we'll start making plans for Disney. But yeah, <clears throat> Disney World instead of Disneyland. At least that's what I'm thinking right now. I did all my surveys. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, chat, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna take a second and redirect this package while we're in an ad. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that ad real quick because it's about that time. And I'm gonna go ahead and redirect that package as well um, so that they can take it to the to the um, UPS store mm -mm -mm. there we go I just did math and I've been with my boyfriend for a thousand one hundred fifty days Wow that's awesome that is super awesome our three months is tomorrow? Shut up, Platonic. It feels like longer, honestly. Which is a good thing, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Get updates, change my delivery. I guess I have to enroll into this thing. Oh my god, for a second, I got worried that you guys could see my screen. I was like, ooh! I just gave you guys my phone number and everything. <laughs> uh, please. All right. My off the record would have been clutch if it didn't activate an end game. <gasps> oh, true. I completely forgot about that. You're right. You're right. Oh, no worries. I really, I wanted so badly to try and save you, Hydro, but it's just none of the exit gates were anywhere nearby. So it was just really tough to be able to do that. Um, but GG's, GG's. Girl, they got every username in the book. Da, 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 da. Yeah, thank you so much for the five months. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh oh. Okay, give me a second. What? 
A code? I don't know what this is. Okay. <sighs> All right. Oh, really, Lifeline? I feel like it's tough to get into streamers games. I mean, you have to be on the same region. And even if you're in the same region, um, it's just so hard. It's so hard. There's too many people playing. I always get you on my TikTok for you page when you go against Bubba. Dude, that's so funny. I love that so many people have started to recognize that I love Bubba's. I love it. I love it. Mm. Katie, these matches have been really fun, by the way. Hey, the respect on this man. Respect again. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh my god, this man is respectful. I'm over here! Come back! <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jen. Hi, Angel! Good morning! Good morning, good morning. They be scamming people through UPS? Really? Scamming in what way? That's scary. Oh my god, Carlos was just as brave, intimidating. I could honestly, like, I find that stealth killers, especially when you're newer, um, are probably some of the more challenging killers. But as you become more experienced, I feel like you start to, you start to prepare for them a little bit more. She's so slutty as a wraith. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yes! Oh my god, me and Zex were literally in a call trying to snipe each other for fun. And it just never happened. Poor Zex tried so hard and we're on the same region and everything and it just didn't work, dude. It's, it's so hard. Oh, same, same. I think, like, I've talked about this before, but back whenever I was first playing, um, Wraith was the only stealth killer in the game. And I was terrified of Wraith. Like, absolutely terrified. Ah! He learned. He learned. Oh, yeah, sure, Ivan. What's the scenario? Be honest. Yeah, okay. It's so challenging, honestly. Do you see what I see? Chat. Yeah, he's gone. Very nasty setup. Very, very nasty. It's a baby rape. What makes you think it's a baby? I disagree. My cats are watching your stream. Oh, I love that. My dogs be laying with me when I'm uh, streaming and stuff. Hi, CCG. Good morning. Good morning. The frosty eyes. The frosty eyes make you think it's a baby? I feel like the frosty eyes just tell me he has no head. At least that's usually what I think of when I see frosty eyes. There you go. The giveaway is for a PC, Andy. We're giving away a PC with monitor. And the more surveys we complete, the bigger the giveaway prize. Right now we're at 6,000 surveys completed. If by Christmas we can hit 10,000 surveys, then we can give away a $5,000 value prize as opposed to a $2,500 value, which is what we're giving away at the moment. Oh, Mr. Wraith, Mr. Wraith. That is um, a lot of spins. Ooh, I got stuck. Oh my god. All right, all right. We're whipping. 
The window finally unblocked, which is great. We gotta play around the window blocks. Can I make this? No, I don't make that. I got a little greedy. Little greedy, little greedy. Did he just snowball me? Mr. Ray! <laughs> oh, that's so funny, please. Mr. Ray, the cat. You're so silly. How do you enter? If you come over to my Twitch, there's a link in chat that takes you to the giveaway. Oh my god, platonic. You know what it reminds me? It reminds me of Fruit Loops. I used to love Fruit Loops as a kid, dude. One of my favorite, favorite cereals. Oh, oh, we like me, Mr. Reef. We sure do. We do like me. Wow, caught a stream live. Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the two months. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I love Fruit Loops. Yes, Fruit Loops were the best. I used to love um, having Fruit Loops for, for breakfast. Aw, Lion. You like Frosted Flakes more? I never got into Frosted Flakes. I don't know why. It just wasn't my thing. How do we get back to the survey? Legna, to get back, depending on what contact oh. preference you chose, if it was email or text, you should have gotten something to one of those. Um, and you can just click on that button and it'll take you back to your surveys. Super easy. You don't have to log in or anything. It'll take you directly to your surveys from there. Like I have mine bookmarked and that way I can just go ahead and and click on it. Of course. Azucaritas, yes, Jesse. I feel like a lot of Hispanic people did that. Gotta head out to an apartment. Oh, have a good day. Thank you so much for reminding me about recording today, by the way. I really, really appreciate that. Have a good day, have a good day. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. Oh my god, Dot. That's funny. Yes, thank you. Have a good day. Those Cheerios? Oh yeah, Cheerios. Everyone always says Cheerios for everything, even for like Fruit Loops. My mom even used to say Fruity Loopies. <laughs> Los Fruity Loopies? Quieres Fruity Loopies? I'd be like, okay. You know, that was my Fruit Loops. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean by Twitch channel? It just means your Twitch username. That's all. That's so cute, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, my favorite um, cereals as a kid was like Fruit Loops, um, Cocoa Pebbles, um, Fruity Pebbles. Those are the ones that come to mind the most. Walmart and McDonald's. Yep, yep. <laughs> Yeah, of course, of course, Jesse. Oh my God, does he have it, chat? Be honest. I don't know if I want to risk it. I feel like he might have it, chat. <laughs> chat, does he have no end? I kind of feel like he has it. He's really coming for my ass. <laughs> I don't know what to do. They opened the door. I'm in trouble, girl. Wait, that looks like normal speed, though. Nah, he doesn't have it. He's walking at normal movement speed. Nah, I don't think he has it, chat. False alarm, false alarm. Unfortunately, they opened the door, so now he can just zone me here if he's smart. Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. He does not know about the the <laughs> killer one. Oh, I 
I even left the tile and stopped playing safe because I was so confident he didn't have it. <laughs> we're sad. We're so sad, bro. Oh my god, you're kidding. Please. Bro. Love you, Leon. Mwah. Ah! not feel like he had that movement speed only because i felt like it was just bloodless at that point because i had been looping at that one tile that's so freaking funny holy <laughs> i need your opinion i don't know if it sounds weird but i like making builds around the characters um given like i play jane so i use jane's perk supposed to perk that fits the build is that quirky it's also fun to change up gameplay styles no absolutely i mean it's fun to just kind of mess around with different perks in my opinion there's a lot of um there's a lot of builds that you just like never touch because you get so used to your gameplay you know what i mean and a lot of people are always like who's your main who's your main who's your main and it's like i don't know i think having no main is also really fun and just like playing around variety um is really really great so all right chat i am so 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 sorry to do this to you guys okay but i think i'm gonna end there um i just have so many errands to run and um that also set me back a bit with that delivery thing so i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and in there it's gonna be a bit of a a little a little bit slightly shorter of a stream okay we usually do four hours and we're gonna end at three 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 and 15 minutes not too bad um but dodo thank you so much for the biddies thank you thank you katie thank you so freaking much for this duo day it was so freaking fun I feel like we had such good games. Uh, I hopefully you agree. <laughs> yes, I had such a good time, Katie. It was so awesome. I will be live tomorrow at 11 a.m. If you guys have any free time that you can spare to kind of, um, you know, mess around with the surveys, I would really, really appreciate it. But I love you guys so freaking much. I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Don't forget to do your surveys, chat. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about with the surveys, it, we're doing a giveaway of a PC i would love to be able to give it away to a lucky winner in chat all you have to do is click here to enter once you enter with your information it'll take you to this window and if you're us um if you're someone from the us this is where you register for surveys it's super duper easy a survey takes one to two minutes so i would really appreciate it i love you guys so much um can i make it no you can't silo i'm sorry i wish you could but i love you guys i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys Mwah.